What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by Manscaped and the Lawnmower 4.0 package. If you use code RBP at checkout, you get 20% off and free shipping. Go to manscaped.com backslash RBP to get the 4.0 package. I'm going to show you exactly what's in it. The 4.0 package is the ball toner and ball deodorant to make sure your junk smells good for your significant other. Get the nose trimmer to make sure you got no hairs and stragglers hanging about. And you get the 4.0 trimmer to make sure your junk is clean. I've had no cuts and no issues with this. And actually, it's pretty cool. I've been using it for my arms and legs as well. So it's a really good trimmer that way. Uh, you also get this really cool leather carrying bag and you get a pair of boxer briefs that are very comfortable. Uh, also new, Manscaped has come out with a body wash. This stuff smells really good. Uh, it's probably better than the crappy soap that you're using. So check out manscaped.com backslash RBP or use code RBP at checkout and get 20% off and free shipping. Thanks, guys. Just start. We don't have to. Yeah, we're going to give her. All we're right. That. We're in. That's professional right there. Okay, boys. What's this up? is the uh, time. first live. <laughs> well, no, you're not. Well, you weren't on time. We had to wait for you. <laughs> That's now you're on. You can't even so, let the fans think. We just no, actually, actually yeah, wait you for couldn't you even time. tell them I actually made it so, on time. Uh, <laughs> welcome, everybody, to the RBP meetup. Yeah. Call it Bro Chat. Bro Chat, Bodybuilding and Bollocks. Brett hasn't found a home yet. He's still in between both. Between here. Between so we're just all I'm under just the real bodybuilding podcast. Anyway, <laughs> so Ian, you were saying you got in yesterday and you had to take a shit. No, it was this morning. Oh, this morning. Yeah, well, I oh, told you Oh, because your about, flight got in this morning. Oh, my shit was crazy this last night. So what so. happened? Oh, man. I mean, I got to the hotel, to the Homewood, yeah. and I was at the front desk, like, trying to check in. I almost didn't make it. I had to get Melissa to finish the check-in so I could well, run up to the roof. almost doesn't make it. Were you, like, were you sweating? <laughs> like, I got to the toilet, and my pants were down, and I thought that when I stood up, I was going to have got the back of the seat, you know? Oh, yeah, the like, t- yeah, the tunnel had hanging uh, out. Yeah, it was like, I it got out. there, and I was like, here, and it started coming out, so I thought I was going to miss it, but I got it. I got it. Was it. Was it a regular solid turd or was it diarrhea because like normally when you it can't like, hold it it's usually diarrhea it that fluff. fires it out it was fluff you know so it was softer <laughs> yeah it was <laughs> like, like like a lot of fiber <laughs> like yeah, cotton he had candy this, like a whippy like a, like a, a soggy fiber. stuffed animal yeah yeah, he, yeah. well yeah <laughs> but explain that feeling it was just like, is that not the best fluffy. feeling in the world oh my god oh my god to rush to the toilet or yeah. yeah. for the the purge was good yeah you know when you like wait a minute you're cutting it really fine yeah it's like the frill you know, the thrill of it. Yeah, you like that. Thrill. I had it last night after IHOP. <laughs> <laughs> when we got yeah. when we after IHOP last he night, he holds them in intentionally every time. Yeah. Yeah. Just he's holding it right now. I, I, I do, and then I, I literally I go up to the toilet and I I faff around with it. Well, I go up to my room and then the door, the key doesn't work on purpose. Yeah, almost. So it makes and it's happy. Like, oh god! And oh I'm, no! I'm gonna shit oh myself no. in the hallway, and then luckily the key just works at that last moment. One that you know I just managed to hold I, it. I don't mean promo fuck. That's going to get my key. Yeah, he had, he had to do that last night. But yeah, like when, when we got in last night, I had one of these. Well, it's, it it's always like that though. When you're rushing to like take to yeah, do it, yeah. something fucks up. Yeah, and I was doing because I had the one of the trolley things that you put all your bags in yeah. and you know how they only kind of steer from, from one, one side, side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. so I had yeah. it the wrong side so I opened the door and I'm trying to turn it Pulling. and it wouldn't turn <laughs> so the whole thing just spilled <laughs> over so yeah. I'm like fuck it I left it the hall because <laughs> 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 oh, I pulled it and it just pulled against it it didn't turn it so it just yeah. fell over I was like fuck it, and I'll all, get of it us had, all of us had problems flying in yeah, you missed your flight yesterday. Well, I didn't miss my flight. My bags missed no. my flight, so that I you missed your flight, and you're too <laughs> yeah. stubborn to admit. From what you From what you So, and the guy was delayed was three and a half hours. I was canceled at the drive from Houston to to uh, Dallas. You didn't have any problems. I was all right, but every single flight after mine was canceled. Yeah, so I was lucky because yeah. I saw literally a list of five flights. Yeah, everything after mine. Bruh. Gone. Brad, did you have any trouble getting in? No, mine just started at 3 a.m., so it sucked. And then I'm home turf. Yeah, home turf, yeah. Home turf. Yeah. How did you get tanned today, bro? <laughs> Are you that white? <laughs> I'm yeah. <laughs> 20 uh, minutes in the sun. So That's let's it. talk it's about great. today, Guy. Great You're crazy as fuck. Me? So Guy would, we, we go to the range. How did this all of a sudden get put on me? We go to the range. Guy Every would time. do like one thing wrong. Oh, he, he was pissed. Oh, hey, listen, he's hitting all the targets. 
but like maybe he would do one like in the wrong order. Yeah, I would freak out. He's no, so mad at himself. No, started, he, started, he, started, he, started, he didn't go down to a knee on one shot. He didn't go down to a knee. All right, well, it's been it's a good a podcast. Why, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, why didn't I go down on my knee? Why? I knew I should have gone down on my knee. I was like, I was like, is he pissed? And then all of a sudden, I see his hat just get fucking Off across the, the range. I just oh, don't understand what you're so angry about. Because it's, if it's a real life situation and you fuck up, you could die. But it's, it's not a real life situation. Yeah, that, but that's. I go into every situation like it's real. No, no, but that. I guess I'm not taking it seriously enough. That type. That oh, type what? of shooting that we do—that's made for those type of situations. I know, but we're just having no, a good time. No, but, uh, but you, are one, not, you are not having a good time. You're so so having, having a great time. Fucking serious than anybody. Who are you jerking right, off here? Having a great time. No, you were like about? fucking robot like this. You, 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 yeah. <laughs> you were dead serious. You got out of that car. I want to see the clip. They'll play the clip. Someone's got it. You got out of the car. You're playing right now. <laughs> I was serious oh, with the gun, literally. but I was having the time of my life. It was fun. Yeah. But when I do, like, when you, when, when I completely, it wasn't like I missed a shot. I completely no. missed you, a quote unquote target who was a person. Yeah. So I could have got, if in a real life situation, I could have got shot. You would have got fucked yeah, up. That's why I got pissed shot. off. Yeah. Like, in a real life situation, you're going to see a guy holding a gun and you're going to fucking shoot it's him. It's easy to miss a bit of tin. Well, there was, there was at that, with that one obstacle there was I think four or five different targets we had to shoot yeah yeah, yeah. I just like to do things in order and it was stu- it was stupid simple fuck ups that were pissing me how, off how intimidating is Branch though Very. that's part of why he's pissed too is he a branch over your shoulder no, it's wrong. Wrong. yeah well Branch is my boy and, and, yeah. and I been, I shoot you know decent enough and I, I shouldn't make like a mistake like this order and then I'm like fuck I gotta back up and shoot again and then go because I just sensei is uh, disappointed in you and you just get upset yeah sensei <laughs> branch man. I'll, I'll say this branch is a good instructor hey yes well, I told yeah. you he instructs he, oh. he said they taught they 900 camps people out there. 900 yeah. people last year good. He, said some of them, he said some of them were Navy SEALs this is all I'm gonna say is I wouldn't have fucked with branch before today and definitely now I'm definitely yeah, fucking with branch yeah. <laughs> like today just reinforced how fucking Badass and bad yeah, What it reinforced just, that if a real life situation occurred, you, you, and you are definitely going to be the fee- th- first three to die. That's not true. Hey, my accuracy, oh, was, your accuracy was good, but the movements you getting out of the car was like this. Uh, I'm left handed. <sighs> I'm left handed, bro. <laughs> I, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, Ron, this, Ron, says, this Ron, says Ron, the guy who's slow. standing up I behind miss. the truck. Shooting, it's like I just said I fucked up. Now you're gonna throw my <laughs> you face. Would have died yeah. first. Okay, hold on. Hey. You're telling me in a, you guys would have made, you would have yeah, made it out. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Listen, you would have been killed by when the keys of the car. When he stood up, he still you behind missed. the truck. You forgot about the one you absolutely forgot about. He would have fucked you up. Yeah, that's right. Actually, even guys standing up was still like just his Lower. head was over the truck. It wasn't like. <laughs> hey, listen, if you guys want to talk about something funny, wait till you guys see the clips of you fucking three idiots running. I oh, run quite well. Hey, it was like wet bags of shit mine. running. Well, I, I, got got torn, well. I got a torn cap. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> what the fuck did you Wait, tear your cap to? No, no. You know what it is? Skipping, Ron said, skipping. Right, guys? Ron even said, skipping you, like you and you. Yeah. You're the, Wait, only one, you're the only one yeah. that knew what skipping rope was. See? Wait, what? He told us he tore his calf skipping, and both me and Guy thought we were like, you know, like when kids like warm up and they do like the one leg in the air, one leg in the air. and oh, like, skipping rope. Okay, time out. So we thought he was running around You can leave this in. I don't care. We we can all we have to try and all I know it's like we all usually talk over each other but because it's live it's probably worse. Oh, it works even better though. And there's six of us, so let's We're try and off. talk like one at a time. Do you want us to hold up like a green? Yeah, everybody that? hold up like a thing. No, yeah. I'm just saying. Anyway, you were saying to Ian. So he told us he tore his calf. Or not tore his calf. He didn't say that. He hurt his calf. He skipping. just said he tore it. <laughs> Micro <laughs> tear. <laughs> Micro tear. Tore his skipping. So me dramatic. and Guy automatically just think. You know, thinking of like little kids warming up. And I'm like, why class. are you w- walking around the gym doing this? Why are you skipping? skipping? I just call this skipping all the time. Well, what else would you call skipping rope? <laughs> well, That's he, what I asked him, and he said jumping rope. Like, like jumping rope? I picture like a Mario Brothers. No, like, in Canada, do we do call do that skipping. Do do you, so I, I, skipping, skipping right? no, I, I knew skipping. what you said right away. Huh? I call it skipping. Because it's Canadian. It's, skipping, right? it's the Canadian term. Yeah, we go skipping. Well, you can call it skipping also. Yeah. Then what do you call real skipping? That is skipping. That's why. No, like skipping. What we're talking about. What do you call this? That's also skipping. skipping. Yeah. So what? So how do you differentiate? Because one's skipping rope. Which well, you didn't say skipping rope. I said skipping rope. And, and, no, you got to me. Oh wait, you're right. I didn't. I just I know. I'm never wrong with you. Bah, bah, Would you bah, say bah, skipping bah, bah, rope? Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, but you said skipping to me, and I had and the option knew. to both, and I knew which well, one you were. Because you knew were. I wasn't skipping down the street. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because let's be honest, how many adults? How many adults skip down the street? By the way, yeah. that's why we were so confused. Yeah. How many three hundred pound bodybuilders skip rope too? So I'm gonna say this. It's just pretty just, just good. I, I'm gonna put this out there. I think skipping is a more efficient way of moving than walking. It's less energy, and you cover more distance. Well, it was, it was good cardio. I'll tell you that. It's like it's crazy. But I think you cover more distance. 
Wait, that's you're talking about skipping. Oh, that's yeah, skipping. Yeah, real skipping. Now we're fucking them all. Now he's talking about Super Mario Bros. Yeah, like no skipping for length. Yeah, you get further. Yeah, with less effort. It's efficient. Well, it's the triple. It's the triple jump without the last jump. Little bound. She just keeps doing it. She just goes. That's what Ivana did when she was shooting. She was like just skipping between targets. Anyway, I was skipping rope for cardio for cardio what like two minutes like how long do you skip for? i was doing like two minute three minute rounds okay all right so i i don't have a treadmill at my gym yet do you have so any cardio equipment summer bought me a heavy bag okay and i like it because nobody's at my gym so yeah. nobody's watching me hit the heavy yeah. bag so i got a skip rope also <laughs> yeah and i was doing that and i felt like my calf cramp up and i'm you like gonna, you're gonna fight half thor bjornsson next or i'm not f- that's why i have it in a private gym where no one could see me i'm not trying to be tough i just <laughs> like the cardio. podcast yeah, comes no out you're gonna get it. fucking people trying yeah. to fight you now i know yeah so anyway, I'm skipping because I used to skip rope like for cardio when I was like 18, 19. Sure. Anyway, I'm way heavier now. So I felt my calf cramp up. I'm like, what the fuck? So I massage it a little bit and I go again and then it cramps up really bad. I'm like, fuck it. So I just leave. And after it cooled down, it was fucked. It yeah. hurt really bad. So I'm telling the guy the story because after like four days, it kind of went away. I'm like, it must have just been a really bad cramp. And then I trained legs and it was okay. And then it came back when I was walking through the airport. Hmm. Huh. So I told Guy the story, and Guy's like, that sounds like what my symptoms were when I had a blood clot. Or my calf, yeah. And I don't have any bruising, no swelling, no, like, deformity. Hmm. So I'm like, I wonder if it's a blood clot. I'm like, kind of, so I got to go to the doctor and get it checked. But it's fucking, it hurts, man. You still feel it, yeah. 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 So we were running today, and I was running probably like a dork. Cause Did you take the aspirin like I told you? No. No. Of course you not. should. I went to Walmart today. I forgot to get the aspirin. The most important thing to keep you alive? <laughs> I got everything else, though. That doesn't help keep going. <laughs> he, got boots. he got boots for the range. Yeah. He got boots and food, but I got no boots for the range. He got boots so with I... a calf that has a DVT in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Won't need it when he gets that leg amputated, yeah. you know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, no, I got to get some aspirin. Anyway, so that's going on. But, um, okay, so question. None of us have, we've never done this live. We've never seen each other in person. Well, we have seen each other in person. Well, we have seen each other in person. Not at the same time. Actually, I've seen you in person. Obviously. You obviously. haven't seen me. You've seen me in person. We've competed. You three I have not seen in person. I've, I've seen you in person. I think at Expo years ago. Wait, you guys have never met in person before? No. Isn't that crazy? Wait, really? that's crazy. crazy. We're like best friends Wait, now. We, we were saying it would be like one of those Tinder things and you were, you were like... Really hit it. What off, happens if like, he tapped his shoe? He wasn't wait, real. Wait. So wait, has everyone else here met in person before? Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen Floyd uh, uh, at Expo before. So me and Bet, have you met, met everyone else? Wait, I feel I've met yeah, yeah. before. Yeah, we've met Brett before. Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow, so tomorrow, us three quick, had yeah, met yeah, everyone. Yeah, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, one at a time. Ian, who have you met here? Everyone. Everyone. Multiple times. Ben, who have you met here? Everyone bar you. But me. Brett? Everyone except for you. James? Everyone. saw me at an Expo. Yeah, that's who you was But we never met. Guy, I mean, you've met. Who else? Have you met everybody else? Okay, so I'm the only one then who hasn't met, like, the bulk of you guys. Yeah. Can I just guys, say something? Can I just say something? I, I might have remembered that moment when I met you, and now I feel really fucking offended. Maybe the best moment is like... we didn't meet. Like, we didn't meet. Like, I probably went up to him and was like, you're one of my favorite bodybuilders or some shit at the time. And he well, probably shut like, yeah, 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 yeah. So he's not committed to about it. You being a favorite, he might have been. you, I don't know you. Fucker. That could have been, like, the most important moment of my fucking life. You said maybe you saw me. You didn't even commit to it. That moment is what inspired him to be a bodybuilder. Maybe that's why he's so good right now. Maybe, but now he, now he's gonna suck because you didn't even remember. Where, 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 where <laughs> no, I do remember, Luke did say you Luke were one did of say you. that. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I was what I was getting to is, and I, I I don't mean to turn like mushy as fuck, but it was like a huge. Uh, I mean, you've met, but we're not close. No. Until, like ne- like you've guest posed for me and stuff at my shows, but like we've never hung out or talked no, or no. any length of time. Yeah. It's just uh, it's like. It's weird. It's like you said. It's like you're talking to a girl online, and you're like, "I hope when I meet her, she likes me." Yeah. <laughs> or, I hope, or I hope when I meet her, she's not shit. Yeah, <laughs> she looks. She looks like she doesn't picture like false advertising. Yeah. Yeah. She can't like, the, all the fucking filters and shit. <laughs> yeah. But I'll, but I'll see. I'll be. I'm being dead serious. This is as vulnerable as I could be. So I'm flying here, and I'm like, "What if they don't like me?" I'm like, "What if they like me on the podcast?" Because they just turn it off after, and I'm gone. But what if when I'm there? For five days straight, they're like, "Fuck this guy's annoying guy's shit. Fucking annoying no, as fuck." About that, we, we can pretend for five days. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> We've been pretending two hours a week for years. <laughs> <laughs> for <another five> days. <laughs> anyway, seriously, don't be fucking badass, tough guys. Did anybody else think that shit? No. Yeah, yeah, I did. You did. Well, you're I the mean, you're the most sense like emotionless one. 
I mean, I've Normally. I've met everyone here, but like when you go do it, you do like a live podcast. You like think about those things, obviously. You yeah. know, and you're like yeah. seeing everybody. You think about it for See, sure. It's not you always think it's just you that thinks this kind of shit. We yeah. all think it. We all do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're also kind of my boss. That's weird. I think <laughs> you I and I. But it's weird when we're doing this. I don't feel like you're. No, boss. Yes. I think you and I are more naturally anxious people, though. That we yes. think about these things a lot. Yeah. You know. Mm. See, I didn't think about him as my boss. No, he pays me for friendship. I don't either. He pays me for friendship. <laughs> so, hey, yeah, pay him to be my friend. <laughs> Look at it that way. Yeah. I gotta get more of those friends. Yeah, yeah. 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 view it that way. It's way better. But that's why I get to call him whenever the fuck I want because I, you know, I pay him. So I'm I, I don't feel my phone no more. So I don't feel bad calling him every day for advice. <laughs> He's gonna have to get a private line just for therapy for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got to be honest though. So the other thing was because me and Luke started the group thing. Like I did that. I had the RPP thing. But once me and Luke started the group thing. And Guy mentioned this actually on the phone when I was driving here from Houston. We had a long talk. It's like kind of odd. It's 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 a shitty. It's a shitty way to say it. It's but a I shitty, don't know how but to a say nice it. thing to say at the same time because we said it yesterday too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like a silver lining kind of came oh, from a tragedy. Yeah. Because me and Ben became very close friends after Luke passed because yeah. I felt like people were message. I didn't want to do it for a couple of weeks, and people were messaging me saying you got to keep the podcast going. It means so much. You guys get the messages now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, I guess I got to keep going. And it just felt natural to do it with Luke's best friend yeah, exactly. and Luke's other best friend. Well, what are these so best? we just started being in Ben started. Then James came on and we kept rolling. And now it's like it feels weird to be together after all this time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's just like uh, like Luke brought us together in a way. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like a, a silver lining in a tragedy, I guess. So yeah. anyway, it's just cool. It's cool. to It's cool to fucking be here. It's cool to like do this together. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like uh, it's strange that I spent all my time with you guys, and this is the first time we fucking met all, like, yeah, all together like this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it was like we it, it was, was it, like we know we've known each other. Yeah, it was, there was no odd feelings. No. Yeah, yeah, because we were sitting around having cigars yesterday and eating, and it just felt like completely normal. Like you done it last weekend. Yeah, yeah. I talked to this yeah. guy every fucking week for yeah. like hours and hours. You know, I think it's more cool that we're doing these other things instead of just talking like this. You know? Yeah. What do you mean? Training. Oh yes. yes. You know, yeah. cigars last night, dinner together, things yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the that's the coolest shit because we get to talk every week. Yeah. But we never actually do stuff together. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, it just solidifies what you already have. Like you've already got like what you consider a friendship. But then when you do these things together, the actual like physical activities, it already actually adds to the relationship you're already building. Well, I, don't, I don't know about the rest of you guys. I don't actually do a whole lot socially. No, I don't do it. Know? No, yeah. Like especially as bodybuilders, it's pretty antisocial, linear in what yeah. we do every day. Mm-hmm. So actually getting together and then do it, like. I don't have friends near me that I want to hang out with necessarily, yeah. right? Yeah. But, I like, told Guy, I'm like, you know, me and Paul train together, but like other than that, it's like I don't have like a crazy social life. It's yeah. like talking to you guys for like four or five, six hours a week is like my social time. Oh, yeah. I feel like because often we don't have people because it's, it's quite sparing how many people are as understanding of each other as we are. Yeah. And that's why we're all kind of not in the same place, like actually geographically. So when we put us all in the same room together, it's it's a relief because we do know that we all have the same kind of perception of things and understanding of each other. Well, that's it's fresh. And that's honestly a lot of the thing that's been driving me to stay in Florida recently is like mm-hmm. you leave from Ottawa, we are like mm, one of two, you know, yeah. like yeah. and you go to Revive where in one gym there's 15 of you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like Look, we don't hang out outside of the gym and talk bodybuilding all day. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. I don't want to sit and talk about bodybuilding no, no, of with my friends all day. Yeah. But, like, when you're in a community of people that, like, understand and, like, yeah. you know, it's just, like, such a different yeah. environment where you don't have to explain anything, you know? Absolutely. Like, it's just, like, everyone gets it. Yeah. You don't have to explain shit. Like, it's, like, you know, it's just a very natural, comfortable feeling, especially when I was doing the Arnold and the Olympia and, like, yeah. you know, might be feeling a certain way or doing this or going through this or, you know, looking like a fucking bag of shit or, you know, like, people get it completely, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. which is just like it takes a lot of like weight off your back like if it, it felt nice you know i share that exact feeling that's like since i've been in boca it's, it's exactly the same thing i'm in that same headspace as ian and yeah that's why i've chose to yeah. move yeah because yeah. i've realized things you come to understand that being around people that have you know a similar kind of attributes I could, yourself it's amazing yeah. i could do that easily tomorrow like i've yeah. always said i want to move to texas and i was having a we we're me and branch were talking yesterday and where he asked me how's like how i felt about retirement because obviously he's retired yeah and I was like, I don't know, I haven't really come to grips with it yet, but I'm getting there. And it's like, I felt like it'd be cool to be here because there's other people that are in my position, whether they're still training yeah. or not training mm-hmm. or just in business, like Michael's in business the way I am. So like, yeah. there's a lot of different aspects that I could like 
yeah. gather motivation from or just uh, utilize sources. Yeah, life would just be more fun with other people that are in your sphere, you know? Yeah. And then also, like, in a place like this, like, nobody comes to visit Windsor. Like, yeah. it's shit. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if I was here... Nobody even if, comes to visit hell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I'm like, even if nobody was here at all, you know people are going to come to destination to come train For or sure. do photo shoots. So, there's always the somebody coming this in This was, and like, out. the perfect logistic <laughs> location. Yeah. yeah. I was so, amazing for me. I won't... Fuck you guys. Yeah, I guess a huge shout shit. out to uh, MJ, right? Michael Jansen. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The yeah. huge shout out to yeah. the uh, owner of Gas yeah. Better Bodies allowed us to be here and Absolutely. have this happen, which is fucking awesome. It's funny, you, know? you just don't realize how much you need stuff like this till it happens. Yeah. Like, I didn't oh, realize. Man. And now, like, I'm sitting here today and I'm like, this is exactly where all of us right now need to be in our lives. Yeah. There's a couple things. So, one thing I said to Brett yesterday was, and I said to Guy, is somehow we assembled... Like, I've asked different people to be on the podcast, and somehow, all of us is different. Like, we're all different. We all come from a different place. Somehow, we're all very similar. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why we get along. Mm -hmm. But it was like, not seeing everybody, not being with everybody, started to weigh on me. And we've had we've had conversations on the podcast and off the podcast yeah, the about the depression yeah. and anxiety and, like, having bad thoughts mm -hmm. and shit and, like... I think part of it comes from just not being home, like not leaving your house and not being around other yeah, people yeah. that feel like you do and think like you do and enjoy told, the same things as you do. I told Ben, it's not just this, like, so fans, fans send us all messages and say like how we inspire them or whatever they say, nice things they say. Yeah. And you try and take them in, but you can't feel them the way you can feel them in person. person. Yeah. So like doing the, doing the appearance in Vancouver, just shaking hands with somebody. It's like you automatically feel better about whatever they're saying to you, yep. right? And then here, same thing, like meeting you guys, actually. The first thing I did when I walked in, I saw Ben and I saw James. And uh, a guy came to my room the first night. He's like, he's he calls me, he's like, it's one in the morning, I'm exhausted. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I just got in, I'm just going to sort my shit out. He's like, you want me to come to your room? I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he shows up. <laughs> He shows up. We talked for like an hour and a half, and just but he gave me a hug, and we mm. come in. And then when I saw you guys, it was like, it's different, man. It's just different. It's yeah. different than. I, hey, by the way, preface with I stayed up for you. <laughs> you were excited I said, to see me. So, you so waited I, up on, for me on. because you knew I was coming. I have a bone to pick about this. He tells me he's driving, and I text him back, "Cool, drive safe. Let me know when you get there." Nothing. But I didn't want to. He's hanging, hanging out. With, he was there. hanging out with you. I'm no, he didn't. Let me know. No, he was I'm up all night. night. Hold on. I'm up all night, like the wife at home. You slept yeah. like a baby. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was slightly concerned. Slightly <laughs> concerned <laughs> until I fell asleep twelve minutes later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I actually texted him and I said, "Are you here?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm checking in." I'm like, where, where, "Are you in the lobby?" He's like, "Yeah." Or no, he could no. You were in your room already. My room. So he didn't even let me know he was in and checked in. He would have fell asleep, but it, but I got fuck him. I'll see him tomorrow. <laughs> Piece of shit. This <laughs> guy. So tired. I just care. drove four hours. I he doesn't like, care about how you feel. I know. I'm He's, selfish as fuck. Is that it? Yeah. Am I selfish? Yeah. Someone says the same. I don't think I'm selfish. Am see, I selfish, James? You'll tell me the truth. Oh, don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> don't put him in that position. Oh, yeah, don't put me in that position. <laughs> He'll be telling me the truth. Are you selfish? Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, every bodybuilder is a little selfish. When but you say no, uh, I mean. You're not selfish. Like, you're pretty selfless. All right. That's, that could be fun. Let's, uh, after meeting each other. Yeah. Oh, boy. Go around. <laughs> oh, I know. Go around and name one word that describes. <laughs> doesn't have to be because you met them, but one word that describes the other person. But I've met all you guys like yeah, years ago in you're person. The only person. That's either. fine. That's so fine. You just like have said, to do this. Doesn't no no. It doesn't matter that you no, just met you. Them. It doesn't <laughs> doesn't matter that you've met the person. <laughs> Been on the podcast for a long time. Yeah. One word that describes the other person. Okay. You go first. <laughs> Fuck you. You like going first. You always <laughs> want to go first. Words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my word. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you. <laughs> you always like going no, first. No, you go first. I don't want to go first. Yeah, you go I first. I ask the questions. You guys go first. It's your idea. Go first. It was your idea. I asked the questions. You guys go first. There's Start. more of us. There's only one of you. <laughs> okay. It's very good. This could be a music. Okay. Um, one word or two words? Like, just a phrase? Yeah. One word. One, uh, try and do one word. Okay, it's one gonna word. It's going to be fucking tough now. Shit. Okay. Okay. I didn't know I was going to have to go first. 
Okay, I'll, okay, I'll go. Prince I'll go. Okay, I'll go. No, I'll go. No, wow, I'll go. now we're, now we're oh, fucking fuck fighting fuck about who's going fucking first. I'm, I'm afraid he's going to take mine take from it. me. No, I'll I'll it. Principled. Okay. Driven. Philosophical. Uh, that's good. Crazy as fuck. <laughs> that's two words. <laughs> that's three words. <laughs> Crazy as fuck, yeah. Uh, how can I say neurotic, but in a good way? Jesus Christ, I'm getting No, fucking... like, it's... How if we're I... on an island, I'm the first one to go. Intense. At. Intense. Intense. Guy's intense. But what kind of intensity? There's good... It's intense about everything. Joking. This is the thing. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Listen, Paul said this, Paul said this density, to me a long time ago. Intensity. Paul said to me a long time ago, because I there's things... Everybody has things they don't like about themselves, and one of them for me is, like, I'm, in, I'm intense and, I'm, and all these things, right? And Paul was like, the things that make you great and why people like you sometimes are also the things that yeah. can be bet negatives absolutely yeah. so guy is intense ian is tough because i yeah. have a couple things but oh i thought you called him tough no, oh, that, that, was, that was the word tough, tough. tough was a strong guy yeah, he's, yeah. He's, i'll take it though yeah I was we can pretend yeah. i got images to uphold here you know exactly i got hand tattoos now i gotta pretend i'm tough oh exactly. yeah shit you done? I want to say intelligent or well thought out, but I can't figure out what it's the word. It's like, yeah, he has that. Um, I, I do know where you're coming from. Yeah, because he's prepared. It's like methodical. Yeah, but methodical. He's, 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 methodical. Yeah, that's yeah. a good word. That's the word. Yeah, I, I think that's good. One that's word for good. yourself. Awesome. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Great no. shooter. Be <laughs> be <laughs> be real. Like, you got to pick one for one yourself. One word for myself. It, uh, this is a job interview, and the guy says, "One word describe yourself. What do you What do you pick?" I'm the glue. The glue? Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That's good. Like I feel like that's a really good selection of words. My tits are kind of droopy. I have to blue. glue them. That's up. why I want to go first because now that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. How do we go after that? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're done. Yeah, okay, we have to move on. I mean, we're all going to say about the same shit. I do. I agree. Or something I missed? No, I agree. We all agree. We all have our opinion. That's what we're going to say right now. Yeah. I don't know Brett that well, so driven was the first thing I thought because I know him more. From competitively than I do personality as an as yeah, yeah, yeah. we have had a chat about Brett though you and I I think Brett's gonna fit in great with the team yeah. I describe Brett not as just uh, hostile like with our crew Brett's like a humble freak Bre- I, cool Brett, I noticed like, uh, it on the last podcast what that he's gonna fit in because with us. you guys fucking planned against me a real, <laughs> yeah, real, real well thought out plan <laughs> the, it was uh, a great plan everybody loved it <laughs> yeah it was, it was more seamless than they can be sometimes yeah, yeah it was good no Brett to me is like a like a Typical blue collar, hard working, like down to earth guy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of words there. There wasn't one word. But. <laughs> I think the way I describe all of us is real. Yeah, that's but, none, but that's why that's why this podcast as a whole has done so well. Yeah, you know, Nobody's I think that's the thing shit. about it. It's is people speak their feelings. They speak from the heart. They wear their and, heart on their sleeve. Yeah, they just, whether it's funny or sad or you know talking mm. about you know like you said anxiety or depression or talking about how I fucking shit all over the back of the toilet. I mean, you know, a lot of people don't want to have those conversations or you know and like, I, like but how for, shocked are you guys though at like women and like just people people that don't even work out? It's Melissa. Oh, is it? Tara, yeah. come in. It's locked. It's locked. Um, how shocked are you guys at people that like? These women come up to me or like people that don't even work out women or, don't come up to you not to go out with me they're like I love your podcast and they walk away yeah no, speaking, but like, speaking of women can we, can, we, can we dive into this Venmo oh my god <laughs> this is the best part of the podcast <laughs> we have to wait, figure wait, out wait, how wait, to wait, get wait. guys no that's, not, that's, no that's not where I was going with this I need to put everybody's heads oh, so I've Jesus, been getting so women have been Joseph, sending me their photos right. and their, their Instagrams guys, for so anyone that doesn't have context don't to listen this, to this I it's because someone originally sent him money and said it was for a coffee right originally was remember we did the podcast and somebody said the question was have you ever had a stranger do something nice for you oh and i said about the it, it well, said about the coffee yeah yeah that yeah. day i did call you and you called me and said i you, called you that that same day after it was no it was the next day after the podcast yeah. i was in pa having a business meeting with a buddy and a guy was pulling out of the parking spot this and it, like the, the story's not funny but this made it funny as he's pulling out of the side, like the parking, it was a, he was parked on the side of the street, like a meter parking. He pulled out and I was waiting to pull in. So as he was pulling out, he rolled down his window and screamed out, there's an hour left on the meter, just so you know. And I was like, thanks, bro. And I called food. I go, hey, remember how I said nobody ever did anything nice for me? This guy just made it known that there was an hour left on the meter. He gave hour. me a parking spot and let me know that there was an hour left that I didn't have to pay for. I go, so I have my answer. Mm. Imagine if he if it wasn't, though. He, was just, he fucked you the other way. Maybe he thought. Yeah, he, maybe he was like. You have like an $80 ticket. You're <laughs> yeah. like, fuck it. And then it was like, I hate your podcast. I knew it was you. 
<laughs> so we did that, and then uh, I got a seven dollar. I got day. seven dollars yeah. sent to me from Venmo. Yeah. From a girl. From a girl. Saying, go buy that yourself I met, a coffee. I like that it was a fan, like that fan that I met at the mm. Olympia. Like, hi, take a picture. And then I thought of an idea because the girl was kind of good looking and we we're like, you should go out with her. And then I was like, oh, we should just get, I was like, I'm going to make it my mission on the podcast yeah. now Great. to get guy married. Yeah. Get guy married. Yeah. Not, 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 we're not going to start with a girlfriend. Yeah, get, we're going to skip the get, whole process. Get a date is a star. Like, fuck. Well, you can get you can a date. Be, I already know you can get a no, date. No, but we're, you're saying end goal of marriage. Yeah, we want to yeah. get him married eventually. Yeah. So if you don't if, just want to get him laid, we want to get him married. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, let's, no, I'm not going to say anything. Anyway, <laughs> if I get married. <laughs> I got no problem getting laid. <laughs> I said it for you. I said it for you. <laughs> I could do shit. <laughs> <laughs> so if that happens, do I have to, like, it's have to be, like, live, fucking live stream, fucking happens, wedding? If it happens, you can never say anything bad about me again because. I've gotten you married. If it happens, know, what I'll do is I'll be able to make fun of you. I'll just wear like a hostile suit. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what he said <laughs> the last one. If he actually, if he actually doesn't remember, he said he was wearing brand. a hostile suit Why? to his wedding. Because it'll make it worse. Pop bullshit. You got to <laughs> promise that we're, that we're your groomsmen, though. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I get to be your yeah. best man. Who gets, gets to, to play in the bachelor party? He gets party. to give a really good speech, yeah. <laughs> Who put Ben gets to play in the bachelor party? Actually, you know what? <laughs> yeah. That would be wild. That'd be Ben playing it, actually. It'd be my second bachelor party. <laughs> We've been married once. How many do you get before it's like ah, forget it? I don't like if somebody gets married and divorced and they get remarried, like like a real married marriage, like at a place. Like, a, yeah. do you actually give them money again? Like, I've never been to a second marriage, but I'm wondering if that's something like I would do because I never gave you money the first time. So, I'd be well, like, yeah. but I'm saying if you went to somebody else's second wedding after they've been divorced, would you give them money again? Well, it depends. I'd give them like, less. motherfucker, I gave you money once. I give them less. Depends how long's between the marriages, too. Yeah. Like, if you, like, toughed it out 20 years and then, like, got divorced, it's like, okay, I'd probably give you a little pity money. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't yeah. come to your first one, but you ain't getting a dime if I come to your second one. <laughs> <laughs> Just your presence? Yeah. You know. Appreciate it. How about we find a girl first? You were the one that brought up marriage here, fucking Spartacus. I know, Spartacus. But you're asking about getting money, and we haven't found the girl yet. <laughs> okay, well, so how many have we got Venmo money? I've gotten money? a lot of Venmo. I got Venmo. Somebody actually, re- I was so confused. Somebody requested $100 from Venmo, and I don't know if they were trying to give me 100 but they requested 100 and it said, thanks for the laughs, and I just deleted the request. I was so confused. Somebody gave you 100 you bucks for a fan. No, it said, no, no, no. It no, said requested, requested $100. They wanted you to pay $100 for the yeah, laughs. Yeah, and I was like, it said negative 100, and I was like, no, delete. No. Oh. What the fuck? Thanks for the laughs. That's what it said. Somebody's trying to scam you. Yeah, don't, uh, uh, don't, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Scam Don't do that. Don't do that. I got somebody sent me 76 cents. Did you get that back yet? No, yeah. Somebody no, sent yeah. me a penny. Somebody sent you a penny? Yeah, I have, I have 76 cents that's a dollar. Almost, that's almost more insulting than not sending anything. That was a guy. By the way, can uh, someone here let James know he's been hacked? Yeah, James is here. Yeah, just let me know because yeah, someone I don't told know, me. Really. I saw it on my. Someone DM'd yeah. me saying James, James is hacked. I only have 600 DMs. Yeah, I know. I've, only got, I've only got like 50 emails of people saying, I, I think you've been hacked. Yeah. <laughs> Do right. people not understand that like your I Instagram is almost like a bank account like at this point in your life? And <laughs> when you get hacked, like, you know. And, yeah, yeah. Dude, and, I don't know if James knows he got hacked. I'm like, and are you I'm, guys- I'm hacked, so I can't access it to say that I'm hacked. Yeah. So that's why I haven't gone on my Instagram and said, guys, I'm hacked. <laughs> that's why they're, mes- that's how they're messaging I, us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're messaging us so we can say it for you. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, yes, we know. I think everyone <laughs> Thank knows. you. We will it's, tell him, it's, which it's, he already knows. It's probably well. a blessing in disguise. It's probably because I needed a few days off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, so yeah. it, it feels for good sometimes. Little R and R, little yeah. R and R. Yesterday had, I wasn't on my phone. Much even it was just had a lot going on, and I enjoyed it. I was going to say, I, I wanted to know what to not do to not get hacked. <laughs> just don't be a cock. Don't click links. No, no, Bro. tell you inform Bro. the people. Yeah, I, what did you do? Honestly, I was such a fucking idiot that day. I was in such a happy mood. You know, I've been over. In, let me just explain from the start, because <laughs> so, I have to. Because I've been in America, and I'm all on this fucking happy vibe, like a hippie. And obviously, I'm feeling like overly uh, not giving zealous. But, yeah, yeah. And I thought someone I knew was messaging me because it's their account. Their account's obviously hacked. They had a proposal. I know that you shouldn't fucking follow through with a proposal, especially when it comes to money. But I saw that certain people liked their post. So I thought it was, I saw very credible people like their post. And I was talking to the person supposedly. Um, And I followed something through and I clicked some things I shouldn't have clicked. What was the proposal for? Dare I even ask? It's about money. And I I lost, I I won't lie to you, I lost 2,000 pounds. Yeah, I literally sent two thousand pounds to someone I thought was my friend, and uh, lost it immediately. And then my Instagram. But you are friends with him. Hey, you are friends with him. It's just his, his account. Account's hacked. His account yeah. hacked. So yeah. now my account is doing that to other people. Yeah. So my account now, I've had emails from several people 
who have clicked on my account and gone through this this investor thing, yeah. which originally I thought my friend was messaging me about, and now they've been done for a thousand pound himself plus. So basically, anyone that's clicking on that link, don't. It's your fault. It's my fault. Well, that's what so I've had people email me saying I thought better of you. <laughs> I, 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 had, I had some kid email me saying, James, I thought better of you. I've followed you since I was young. Well, you clicked the same link I did, so. <laughs> well, the data, yeah, yeah, you know? and I'm like. You fell for the same thing yeah, I fell I, for. And I'm like, We're all fools here. And I'm like, I didn't fucking post that. Yeah. Someone's posted out no, my account. No, you all just fell like, for the same thing. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I lost £2,000 in uh, my account. But it's, yeah, I'm working on getting it back, but yeah, yeah. hey-ho. So don't be an idiot, basically. That's what it was. I was just, a, I, I knew it was happening while I was doing it. It's yeah. one of them times where you like, everything went slow-mo. And I'm just like, everything's fine. I fucked. probably shouldn't do this, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was late, right? Because it was right after we recorded. Dude, I was fucking late. knackered. Mm, yeah. I've been knackered since I've arrived in America. <laughs> knackered? Knackered, knackered. yeah. Tired. 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 Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I've just been... And I'm just like... You never heard knackered before? Have yeah. you? Okay. I, do, I look right. at Brett because like we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> I think Canadians oh, yeah. and Brits I just look at you. I just I'm like, who's the only other American? I'm, there I'm American. Yeah. There's two Canadians, two Brits, and two I thought he was yeah. Yeah. naked. Well, yeah, so every time I'm confused, well, that's never it's never like that usually. Usually it's it's two Americans and two Canadians on Brochat, and mm. ours is usually yeah. Really but that's why okay. when I get confused, what comes out of one of yours mouths, I look. Through, I always <laughs> go for the American. The it's either him or Nick. Because I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Facial what? expressions. I want to make sure I'm not the only one who's confused. Skipping, okay, it's not that not crazy. Skipping. Bro, skipping me and Brett were on the same wavelength. Yeah. Yeah. We just haven't heard it. <laughs> well, you've not ever heard knackered. No. Knackered. Yeah. N a c k e r d k n. It's a silent K. It's an actual word. Knackered. Knackered. It's an actual word. Really? Knackered, yeah. Knackered. I thought you were a fucking teacher. Uh, first of all, whoa! First of all, I have a history degree, and what does that oh, have to do with anything? Oh, he's you always too. say you're the smartest guy. Uh, n- I didn't even understand what he said. Yeah, but you're nah, I mean, I've been knuckled since I've been here. It's funny because when we're talking, you've known me long enough. <laughs> he's known me long enough that he should fucking know by now. I did. I, I knew what you so. said, it, but I was confused. You're well, like, I'm a knuckhead, so we're, I'm in here. We're not, we're, we're, we're not anymore. You're not confusing. You know what I think is funny? When, we first, when I first started the podcast, people would comment. like, I can't understand their accents. And now everybody can understand. Yeah. Like the, the problem UK is, accent. except for well, Nathan. Except for Nathan. Nathan's but different different even they're coming around with Nathan. I can't understand That Nathan Liverpool bullshit is a whole different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Scouse is a different thing. Everyone knows. Everyone says cheers now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I say cunt all the time now. Yeah, but like oh, when yeah, I dude. when you guys both message me, I read in flex too, like in Lewis, English. I I read it in your in your oh, your voices in my head. The thing that caught on the fastest with me is saying y'all since I've been in the states. I say oh, y'all no, fucking oh, I'm all the time. I'm hard against that. I've been in for two and a half years. I'm not. I even put that on my post. I put y'all. It works so well. It's just such a good less words. I can't do it. I feel like a post y'all because it makes. What do you say? What would you say? You you guys? You all? I say you guys. I always say you guys. You guys See, I don't like though. using guys because people yeah. will use guy as a term like, yo, guy, like, and then they won't be talking to me. So when, yeah, oh, like that time, he is guy. Like that right? time when I thought you were having a fight outside the gym because they went, those guys are fighting. And I heard guys fighting. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So yes, I yes. run out there ready to throw down. <laughs> and it was just two random people. <laughs> that's understandable. Mm. That's understandable. Yeah, that's very understandable. So I don't use guys. That's why I say y'all. Y'all. I can't do it. Yeah, um, we have four hundred questions here. We're going to answer any of them. Four hundred. Yeah. We can answer three hundred or so. <laughs> <laughs> have we answered? Have we answered more than six? Can you not delete them before they're answered, so we don't go? Oh, I don't know if the questions. Got to go back and delete it. Wesley Vissers asks, Wesley. "Would you rather Good have the you. ability to teleport, or add the total amount of time of teleportation would have saved you?" your healthy lifespan why is he still complex why is he so, why is he so yeah. German next Thema? just That's delete so it so European uh, <laughs> yeah. but teleport like teleport, there's yeah. one there's six of us here that have to think about See, that look, yeah, this is an American question I get him you're such a racist <laughs> would you rather eat <laughs> Americans not a race, race. McDonald's or <laughs> what, 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 how else would I stereotype culture you're I'm cult- a culturist <laughs> nationalist <laughs> so, so wait wait let me just we're just blanking <laughs> off Wesley yeah. Yeah, we're just still eating. He went oh, sorry, sorry, wait. He's still alive. He'd be pro bodybuilder. What's that mean? Yeah, he's, he's still asked dumb fucking questions. Doesn't mean we have the answers. Well, well, it's not dumb. The question's too complex. I said, I know, stand by your brothers, but all right. I said teleport. We're on little uh, sleep right now. We can't think that way. Okay, listen. Fuck, Mary kill in person would be hilarious and awkward. Yeah. Fuck, Mary kill yeah, who? 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 Uh, us? Us? Fucking Americans. You've got to give us options. I think he's meaning the podcast crew. Uh, too many. Rudy, Rudy says, "I have one question and one question only. Why is squat like child? Fuck fat, you, guy. Fuck you. Fat fuck you, Rudy. <laughs> die. Is that fuck Rudy Lenardi from? Yeah, yeah. 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 Give him Did you say die? <laughs> nah, that was a bit strong. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Rudy. They die. even go strong on you. Who trends the hardest? Trends? Yeah. 
trends. <laughs> like we, we all trendy just, or trend as trends. in a drug. Let's like, do both. No D. Who sets the trend? Oh, trends the trends hardest. Trends the hardest. Who, who, let's do both. Who trends hardest? Let's be honest now. Hardest. Nobody fuck around. I'm probably trend hardest this year. Who trends the hardest? <laughs> I know a guy likes to shave some extra points. Splice. Shave. I know a guy likes to cut some points off his dose. Uh, what dose, bro? I'm fucking retired. I take one well, shot I a mean, week. But, but, but when you were, no, I, on, on my fucking niece and nephew, I'll show you my, I'll show you every. Wait, you're saying shave, you're don't, saying go less. Hey, no, no, I know what you mean. Listen, hey, I'm not that stupid. Don't piss him off. No, no what you I'm saying is. Don't piss him off now. Yeah, I, got a, I got a good shot. <laughs> I have every single journal that I've ever fucking used for every show I've ever done with my cycles in the back. I will take a picture of every single one of them. Okay, okay. Sure. are we going to be flat out honest? Like around the, around the horn, five horn, mil. How much trend we used? Most trend you've ever used. Yes. Oh, most ever? Yes. Not all together. Like, <laughs> just <laughs> trend. Like most in a most cycle. Most in a week. I'll go. Yes. Most in a week. 500. Okay. Four. 400? Five. 400? Four. The most you've ever done in a week? In a week. 700. Yeah. 700. 500. 500? 500. 500? Seven. Six. Six? Yeah, I think six. Yeah. I did one a day. You've done more than six. No, I swear. Wait, I might have done eight. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> That's all it takes. There it is. That's all it takes. No, no, I'll tell you why. Right. You competitive no, no. motherfucker, man. <laughs> you competitive <laughs> son of a bitch. Listen, I'm going to be it honest with you. today, bet on the thing. No, no. Can I go oh, again? Can I, I go again? Hey, fuck Can I go again? It wasn't I'm to like, beat anybody. Mother... That was to learn how to do it better. Y- oh. You, uh... I swear to God. Wait, I swear to God. So what's for the greater good, guys? On my father's grave. Wait, why are you counting who missed and who hit targets? Oh, that was just for fun. No, no, no. Hey, guy, guy, he filmed the second attempt too. Yeah, like, make sure you're close up on this one. No. <laughs> Listen, I'm dead serious. It was my first time out there. I just wanted to do this shit right. I wasn't trying to wait, compete. Uh, I will wait, say this. Wait, I will, are we uh, talking about uh, trend or shooting now? Shooting. Well, no, they're talking about shooting. Wait, 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 Yo, take your finger off that trigger right oh, now. Hold your and I go, put your, your finger straight. I go, if you don't do that, they were they were uh, they were all. We checked all of them. They're all unloaded. Yeah, yeah, matter. yeah. No, no, I know it doesn't yeah. matter. But at the doesn't time, wait. that's what I was thinking. And I I'm go, like, it's unloaded. and I look at what I go. Take your finger off the trigger. I go because they will kill you oh, yeah. online for that. Because I yeah. posted one with Cutler in Dubai at Air Force Base, and he literally had his finger on the oh. trigger, and he got the destroyed. Will destroy you for that. So yeah. I woke up early to drive to Branch's house because we drove to the farm to get try to get things ready. As I'm in Branch's truck, I take my phone and I open Instagram. The Whoa. first fucking Fuck. picture that comes up oh, is him the trigger with guard. his finger on the trigger. And I go, Are you getting out of every picture oh, yeah, care. we took, he posted that. And I go, Branch. And he goes, man, I know. He's like, I already been getting fucking messages because I was there saying, you, you let that motherfucker put fucking in. Take a picture hey, with a fucking that's trigger on the trigger. That's fucking good. Great impression, by the way. That's good. On the money. Well, you should tell him what you said last night when they all took a picture together holding the guns. He goes, we're in for a long day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Ian was the best one where he said, There's too many Europeans holding guns. I'm out. <laughs> That's why he was like, Hey, guys, my flight's canceled. Yeah. It, felt, it felt so awkward standing there with the guns taking the photo because I'm like, I have no idea how to hold this. And I knew I didn't know how to hold it, but I just wanted to take the photo anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but- back to the trend. One second. I just want to explain why I went to 800. I was doing an every other day protocol. So some weeks. Would be four shots in a week. Was that the was that the oh. year the last well, of the hair fell off? <laughs> 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 just times it by three point five, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Well, oh, you do the man. week average. Well, I'm so just... week average to eight hundred. So yeah. seven fifty. Okay, is average. No, no, seven hundred would be average. Like you went six. Some weeks would be six. Some weeks would be eight. How much were you shooting per day? Two hundred every other day. Every other day. Two hundred every other day. Seven hundred average. Yeah, seven hundred average. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the same. Let's put that's an asterisk by this oh, because insane. now people will listen to this and be like, oh, I'm going to do that. No. This was for a very limited time for everybody. Yeah. They oh, did, I, he did I haven't done this. Only. Well, well, listen, yeah. there's, a disclaimer, yeah, there's, a disclaimer, yeah. there's a disclaimer at the beginning of this fucking thing that says none of us are doctors and none of us are yeah. experts and this yeah. is all personal experience exactly. only. Exactly. See, but, so, you know and, and I also want to say, just for one second, in, uh, just because of what Brett said, that was 15 years into yeah. my career. Yeah. I had never... To be completely honest with you, I didn't even do trend until I was like 31. I used to do trend A. See, mine was the opposite. I did mine like one year into my career and then never did that much again. No, so listen, so I did trend <laughs> yeah, A yeah, did yeah. when I was prepping. I never did trend E and I usually did like 100 every other day. So like, yeah, yeah. you know, whatever it is, 300, 400. Y
I think 10 years in, like I was 30, 31, Anadrol started to fuck my stomach. Yeah. And I couldn't eat anymore taking Anadrol. So I needed something to switch out the strength gains. So I took out the Anadrol and put it in the trench. So you're not strong. I'm not strong at all, no. But didn't you say the... I look better than you. Anadrol. So oh, Jesus Didn't you say Christ. Anadrol was in your first ever cycle, though, right? Anadrol was my second cycle. Oh, so it was just 100 milligrams a day of Anadrol, nothing <laughs> no, else. I've never... In my, also, in my defense, I've never taken more than 50. Because I couldn't handle my so stomach. So, on that note, what's yeah. everyone find is their, like, sweet spot for trend, then? Like, that they do on average. I, like, uh, on average, I found 600, honestly. Like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 200 milligrams of trendy. Yeah. Uh, I, I genuinely liked three ampules of the Parabolin. Yeah. Yeah. A week. So it's just like, 76 like, milligrams. It's like so. yeah. 210, 260. Yeah, 200. But isn't that strong? No, weren't they 50? Were they 75? Yeah, that's what I mean. 76. It's a trend hex. Yeah, 72.5, I think. Yeah, or something right? like that. Yeah. So it's like, it's like 200 and. It, what, it's 10? odd. Yeah. It technically shouldn't be any. It's just an ester difference. No, yeah. but it's. Uh, I don't know why. And I'm not going to try saying. to pretend like. That was my sweet spot. That's yeah. plenty. It's probably just the quality of. Yeah, it's probably good. I actually like 50 every other day. I've done that. That's what I use. Try a, a, I, I, a. 50 yeah. a day is what I yeah. usually do. This yeah, is I, I go 50 every... I've done 50 I, every I other, which 50 is... 50 a day is what I would do for trying to, like, the last three weeks, yeah. two yeah. weeks before yeah. a show. Exactly. I personally think with every every uh, supplement, is I feel like microdosage is often keep everything much better that's the only way i do it i Even know in that's the i know that's a I do theory every day, but all i year. feel like honestly i feel like it's so much better like i i was doing masteron well, and uh testosterone prop and i was actually splitting it into 250 milligram shots a day oh i'm not one doing, more, I'm one not doing two a day that's too much yeah, yeah. but i was only using a, a, a i was using it half cc with an- insulin needle yeah yeah and i didn't feel it yeah and i'll tell you now like how i felt like level wise yeah but i don't know if that's direct i've heard that from a lot of people doing that that was uh I actually did that just before the Olympia. And there's, some, there's, there's, uh, there's something I noticed that bodybuilders do, and I've, I'm definitely guilty of it. They'll take a period where they felt great, Sorry, and they'll attribute it to something they've done, but it, they might feel great for a totally different reason, but they've attributed it to that, to that thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm saying it could be that you but felt no, good. It's, it's like a fucking pizza. Like, it takes all the ingredients. Yeah. yeah that's, no, why, I but that's why yeah. superstitions come about, right? Because, oh, I was doing, I won that show like and I was doing thing. that. Yeah, 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 yeah I mean, yeah. fish and look my, how, skin, how thin my skin is. It's like, oh, no, you're, you're, you're eating hours of cardio. I'm on those 10 other compounds you're on right now. Yeah. But no, it's definitely the white fish. The white fish I think we all just heard Jay Cutler say that in a YouTube video in like 2008. We're like, look at Jay. White fish thins the skin. Okay, I'm doing it. Yeah, bro. All I did was eat white fish, you know? Favorite thing about each other? We should let you go. Can we I went again? first last time. No, we should just let you go because since you were the only one that answered it, you should just answer it again. Can we go back through and just everyone do what you did? Yeah. Yeah, we need to finish that. Go, you go first. Okay, that'll, that'll that'll this is your favorite thing about each other. Well, this so, will kind of yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. describe. Yeah. Describe each other like we are doing. Do but both. The describe one word is good like your that. your favorite thing. Okay. Go ahead. All right, well, you're lazy. That's your, that's, you're describing me that yeah. way? How the fuck is that? So what I, I work harder than all you fucks. So what I learned this week, no, no, no. He's not lazy in general, but lazy for weird things. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we wanted to go to IHOP, which is like 500 feet from our apartment. <laughs> we from our hotel. And he wanted to drive because he didn't want to walk drive. across the street. Uh, I would drive 100%. If you're driving, <laughs> right I would before this you. podcast, you it's, not, it's not lazy. It's efficient, right? It's efficient. <laughs> right, no, before, right before this yeah, podcast. That's Canadian been, for lazy. Wait, wait. What do you say, Right before this podcast, we had about two minutes ago, and he... He goes, I need to pee, but I'm not getting up. I'm too lazy to go down. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't want, I didn't want to get up. I'm like, I'll just hold it. Yeah, okay, in his that. defense on that driving thing, I would think, okay, it won't be bad now, but when I've eaten a ton of IHOP, you I got to walk my ass home. Yeah. Yo, I and want that walk car. your ass home. It's fucking 20 feet. It was, it was Yo, 500 meters. It was 500, it was 500 beers? 500 meters, I oh, said. Oh. I'm just no, going to defend myself really quickly. I put all my effort into things that matter. And things that don't matter, I don't want to do efficiency. them. Efficiency. Yeah. So I'll call you conservative. You can serve, Efficient. Efficient. You can serve your energy I for can greater serve, things. Serve my energy, yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. For, so we're, so yeah, that's my description, and you go favorite part? thing. Also that I'm lazy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, that he's efficient. Favorite thing is you know how to rally or rile and rally everybody up. So like on the podcast, you know which buttons to push, <laughs> you know how to get people going, you know, you know, and just being the leader in general of just keeping everybody on pace, keeping on track and just being a leader. So that's my favorite thing about you. Um, describe Ben as the counselor. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, guess I know I know Fu had used him and so do I so when I have questions I'll, I'll call Ben and you know pick his brains off things that's and, true you know it might just be his freaking accent that kind of soothes your soul but in, in general he usually gives good information so I appreciate that and and then you know another thing is just the family man he's became you know and the, the good person he's really been he's he has his brother's <clears throat> he has his brother's intentions in front of him so like I said he's always been great to me always checks in on me so great dude what's one word to describe him that was him oh that last uh, part uh, what a paragraph one word one word one word um lovely Lovely. 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 Well, that's, that's a great word. That's a great word. For sure. yeah. That's Sorry. good. I'll say lovely. Right, keep going. Keep going. So I just met James. Well, officially met James yesterday. And honestly, like, big word for me when I look at him is respectable. So I <clears throat> respect everything about him, respect how he carries himself. Um, and then honestly, just talking to him about, you know, with his previous Olympia placing, he didn't do as well as he did and just sitting down and listening to him um, and how he's handling himself now. So, you know, you got to respect, like, how he takes, you know, carries himself and how he's you know taking himself forward now and i know that moving forward he's going to be one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet this next couple of years so it's gonna be fun to watch him continue um and it's been really cool and then the one word for him is a unit that's what i'm gonna call you <laughs> an absolute unit <laughs> thank you um guy <laughs> High, oh. high blood pressure. I'm probably gonna say. Actually, my blood pressure is actually on the low side of normal. I'm, I'm like 170. I'm like 114 that's, that's over 70. That's why you have to run angry to keep your yeah, blood pressure I, I normal. Do. I keep it low. I, I just like run a, it hot. It's like a valve. I let it. I let it out, and yeah, it's a then I'm off valve. But in all honesty, like I know we called Fuad the glue, but Guy kind of is the glue because we all kind of use him in different ways, that's mainly because so we can. He can take it, you know. So when we want to pick on somebody or you know get something to go, and we'll always look at guy and I'll take fight it. Fight everybody right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that just proved the point by saying guys, that. This guy's not the glue. I know what you're trying to say. There guys. we go. No, 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 no. That's not what. Well, listen, I'm going to say something nice. You don't even know what the fuck I'm going to say. <laughs> guy, not the glue. Yeah. Guy is the guy. Guy is the guy. Guy's guy the is guy. The guy. guy. That's always fun to be around. Yeah. Always makes you feel comfortable, easy to talk to. Yeah. And I totally am taking your time now, so I apologize, right. but. I don't know if that's kind of what you mean yeah. because he's like just easy going. Makes you feel good about yourself. Makes you feel good about yourself. Knows what to say, when to say it. And, but also knows how to bust balls and have a good time. It's like, it's just all around, all around good to be around. And one, one thing I'll say about guy for the word is helpful. I mean, if you ever need anything, you know you can reach out to Guy and he'll be there in a minute. That's not true. I reached out to him for something and he didn't help me. <laughs> I still don't have it. He's talking about a hoodie that he still hasn't sent me his fucking like dress for. Just like this one time, I reached out and he didn't help me. Fuck him. <laughs> which, by the way, he doesn't know. Which, by the way, he doesn't know that I have my hotel room. So fuck him. That's such a thing that, like, I, you know, this is. And ha, tell me if any, have it. if any of your wives sure. or like girlfriends do this. It's like the the all or nothing principle. It's like you can do one thing yeah. a million times every day. Like, say you tell your wife like you're the most beautiful person ever, and you say it three thousand times a day. And then, like, one day, they're like, you never say I'm beautiful because you didn't <laughs> say know. it once I one know. day. Yeah, and they're like, what about all the other fucking times they I forget. said it? They forget, they forget every, everything yeah, every for one day, yep. momentary thing. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck have I been just I doing? Know. You know? Like, I know, It's the forget everything for one thing. Yeah. You know? So do I forget everything? Is that where that was no, going? No, that's what I was doing. That's you who's doing oh. <laughs> Okay, go on, Brett. I'm sorry. Take, I took your time. Nothing. I just got Ian. Yep. <clears throat> Ian Savage, um, not a bad way in a good way. You know, he's not going to let anybody ever, you know, talk shit, say anything bad about him. He's going to stand up for himself. Um, he doesn't let shit slide. And I like that about him. You know, I'm not that way because I just, I let shit go. But Ian does it and I, 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 and I enjoy it because <laughs> I like to watch it and, and see it. But, um, you know, yeah, like you said, he, he, he stands up for himself. He stands up for his, his friends and his family. And that's, that's very respectable. Um, and I know, you know, it's cool to be friends with him and be, you know, on this team with him as well. Um, so that's that's yeah, savage. That's it. That's good. That's Anybody else want to go? Uh, this could take forever if we do everybody. Yeah, heck, right. we should yeah, just do like one every like five minutes yeah, we'll, here every and there. Now we'll okay, touch we'll back, back to it. it. I agree with like I, I think I definitely the last like Ian I look up to a lot. Like I can see a lot of qualities in Ian that lay a uh, kind of a template for someone like myself and where I'm at. Like there's that savagery and that like unwillingness to buckle. And to and to prove wrong and to to stay, I know it's just there's a strength there that I really I respect a lot. So re relentless. Yeah, it's that relentless. Well, it's, it's I, I have a massive. But you guys strength. are speaking competitively. No, it's not even just that. Because I always speak about it mentally. No, no, it's it's in all aspects. I think mental too, man. He's relentless. I'm not man. saying you're wrong. I'm saying when I think of it, I think of it mentally in terms of he has an opinion. He's going to say his fucking opinion whether you like it or not. But it comes with an intelligent response and reason. Yes. 
So it's hard to be like, that guy's an asshole because there's actually, it's actually well thought out. It's not just some guy yeah. fucking talking no, shit. I was going to say, he's like a straight shooter. I, I, yeah, but I'm there's, there's a, there's a method opinion, yeah. behind yeah. his. I, I, as a, I as a, as just as a person, as a body, I admire Ian a lot. Like, I just have a lot Thank of admiration you. to find that. I don't admire him, but I tolerate him. I honestly do. I do think Ian, for the, in terms of the current crop of, comp- of guys he's a, he's currently competing, of is a good role model for yeah. other guys in competing. For sure. But I think it's also because of the work ethic outside the gym, because... Mm-hmm. There's yet to be a time when I've called him and been like, let's do a podcast. He's like, no. I think once, and we were like a week out from like Texas or something like that. You're like, I need a week off. I'm like, but I'm not just talking about just the podcast, but like, it's leading by example. You're like, this is how hard I train in the gym. This is how proficient I am at my diet. But this is also what I have to do to get paid. Mm -hmm. So I do these things for my sponsor, and I do these things for YouTube, Mm -hmm. and I do these things on the podcast. I mean, he's a role model. Like he conducts himself the way. It's like we used to talk about Luke when we used to say Luke was the the unicorn because he had the competitive aspect, but he also knew there was a another side to the sport that Mm -hmm. would make you something that other guys weren't. Yeah. So Ian has also filled that that void or not that void but he's filled that those requirements those characteristics, those characteristics yeah. requirements of a human so it's good to show like the younger guys coming up like hey man you know uh, we all know you want to fucking train hard we all know you want to fucking eat right but he's making a lot of money not just because of that he's also mm-hmm. doing all these other he's things motivating. i find he motivating if someone like me shows the possibilities mm-hmm. and, the, and if you are relentless in your pursuit and you are willing to work hard the things that are possible oh, I, I well, think because it, it is rel- sorry ben, it is relentless like brett said because i haven't seen a time yet where you've been like oh yeah i fucked off my diet for a week or i need a month off the podcast or mm. i'm not going to put out any videos or i'm not going to post anything on instagram it's like it's just constantly fucking turning mm-hmm. it's but, like this work that doesn't stop to and, me and, and he's a fighter like he goes to shows and fights for those that's spaces. what i mean like to me and this is pure, more competitively speaking He's the fox in the hen house. Mm. Like you're the guy that shouldn't be in the mix. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. When like, they talk about you, you, genetics and yeah, fucking, yeah, mm-hmm. like those guys that are pretty and flow well and this and that. Yep. And you're like, well, I'm here too, fuckers. Have that. Yeah. Like you, but you've worked for every single bit of that. And he owns it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that's why I see that. And I go, okay. It's like, funny when I hear him say, "I beat you because I'm." more conditioned or I beat you because I have more muscle I'm like he beats he beats people on stuff I, he, like, he's in control when I think of. of Savage that's what I think of when, mm-hmm. when he yeah. is well, I think you've, you've alluded to things like that on the podcast before right. you've, you've tried when people are like oh that guy should have beat Ian and he's trying to explain his yeah. position he'll be like no I beat him because my fucking skin is thinner than fucking everybody else's and I'm thick as fuck mm-hmm. I might not look as pretty as that guy but it doesn't matter I have everything else Yeah, yeah so it's it's like that's the savage thing it's like yeah fuck you you're prettier than I am but I've oh, all work here. Well, that's why I like yeah. so obviously when we had we aspired to like Dory Nates was obviously someone that we all look up well I suppose that he do I think just, we all do just from a you know a relative standpoint of genetically you know and what can we become as, as a bodybuilder because when you look at it just from a physicality standpoint and also like a mentally I, like, I can look at Ian and I can see you know similarities in gene type and those kind of things and for me it's always been very base like that bodybuilding yeah. I'll, I'll never look at like Ronnie Coleman and go oh well, I'm going to be like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but, yeah. I, could, but I, can, I can I can aspire and I can and look at someone like Ian and I can see where he's come from and where he's got to and where he's going and uh, like I said earlier it kind of lays a template of what's capable if you will work hard mm. so I was I can always I did it when I was younger with Nathan a lot because Nathan was obviously from Britain and I was like set the mark from where Nathan was landing yeah. so like he won the junior title Two years later, I won it. He won the overall. A few years later, I won it. I was always like, I always use someone as a banner, mm. and I, 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 you know, Ian's a great <coughs> banner for me to follow. I think what you're saying too, and this is no insult to you, I, no. so it's not that your physique is achievable. No, but it's more relative but to me. The reason I think of, the reason I don't even want to use the word achievable because it's not achievable to 265 pounds on stage. But it's the reason I'm saying it that way though is. It's more realistic to obtain. What I'm trying to... No, no. no it's that's like, not what I mean. I, I know what you mean. It's, it's not like, genetically built where... It's not like... You have to be born, born with something. Uh, like yeah, it's like you, when you look it. at Chris Bumstead or Nathan that's right. with the ridiculous yeah, shape, yeah, yeah, you look yeah, at that yeah. and you're like, I just don't look like that's that. Right. Yes, that's right. Anyone that just has like normal guy genetics that's, that's right. starting to build muscle, they could look at a physique like mine or James or, you know, and you know, a lot if of you us. Have, if you have the genetic capability to put on muscle, Ian's physique could be capable with enough hard work yes yeah. if you have the ability to put on tons of muscle 
but you don't have perfect insertions like Nathan or Ronnie Coleman, or you're not going to look like that no matter how, no, or, exactly, or exactly. Phil Heath. And I've told people that, like, when you, when I'm standing in the lineup at the 08 Olympia and I still I see Phil Heath, yeah. he's the only guy in the lineup I look at and go, Fuck. there's no, yeah, no matter what I do, I could never, never, never yeah. look like that. What I meant was that James looks at Ian and in his mind is like, okay, that's because of his physique, that's something that I want to chase because I think it's obtainable to oh, me. Oh, no, I agree like, with that. Like, like, like when so I was similar. coming up, I was looking at guys that were shorter. Yes. And, yes. yes. No, 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 I get it. What I'm talking about, what I'm talking about is the 18-year-old kids who are looking up. I think that's why Ian's so popular. Um, yes, yes, yes. Because he has a physique that the people know he's att- obtained by... Deadlifting. Just hard work. fucking work. I mean, and look, if there's, oh, if this is talking to the people too, like, if there's anything I ever learned at bodybuilding, it was the harder I worked, the better I did. Yeah. Speaking it's of like deadlifts. A, it's literally, like modern, it's plain, almost, not. It's plain like, as simple. Like, Brett, the harder say, I worked, the better I did. Yeah. Brett, would you say it's a, uh, almost a modern-day branch? I would say between it's, both of it's these. similar is, characteristic, right? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. just pure. I just thought of Branch when you said that. I'm like, that's another guy who is like, maybe not the most beautiful physique, but was like, I'm going to fucking outwork all of you motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. What's funny Branch is still it, outworks everybody. He's, I, I've seen it. He still looks incredible. He still incredible. buries see, fucking when people. When I saw him today, I'm like, this guy still fucking looks great. Did you see those forearms in there? Yeah. The fuck was that? Well, he still trains like a fucking freak. Well, we great. saw the curl video that, yeah. uh, what's her name? Tip, Trish put up. Yeah. Yeah, of him. Of well, it's, him it's funny that we're all sitting in this room and it's obviously like, this is not coincidental, but obviously the message behind Gasp is something that Branch truly exemplifies. No compromises. Yes, mm. and that's what we're kind of all discussing right here and now. Mm. So it's just interesting that that conversation's come full circle and yeah. now apparently it's... And I think we all display it, obviously. I think we all, we all have that intensity inside we, us because I think we it all... Got, none of us would have got to this point yeah. without, if we were lackadaisical. We, we, none of us are but certainly... Brent said I'm fucking lazy. <laughs> so no, 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 no. He prefaced with certain things. He didn't say the gym. <laughs> none of us walking and taking pisses. None, none of us here won our, our what I, like shows based on genetics alone. No, put it that way. That's all I want to say. We're not. We're not phenomenons. <sighs> well, when it comes I don't know about that. <laughs> My genetics are pretty nice. They were. Yeah, you're old now. Now they suck. <laughs> they, they, they changed. Hey, right. I think. I actually think I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle. Because you're a little bit. Yeah, you're in the middle. I think. Honest to God, I think if I had his <laughs> mindset. <laughs> Uh, or you know any like some of the, some I can't, I'm trying to think of anybody else who's just like a really tunnel vision, you know, or Brett's mindset. Yeah, yeah. I think I would have gone a lot further because I'm more leaning towards Cedric's mindset. Like I have yeah, a lot, no, I had no. a lot of like anxiety and shit leading up to shows that really fucked up my career. Yeah. See, and I think I'm in that same place, yeah. but I also think I had a lot more tools at my disposal now than you ever had. Yeah, yeah, that's Like, true. when I'm feeling like that, like, I can come on here and talk about it openly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah that yes, puts yes. me at peace in a lot of ways. Or, like, you know, there's a lot of different tools I have. And like, you found how to manage it. I found how to manage it. Like, I got key. it medicated and, like, you know, had open conversation about these things when you would have just, like, bottled I just dealt it with it. I just you, dealt with it, yeah. You just dealt yeah. with it, which yeah. makes it a lot harder, you know, yeah. so. Well, I mean, for the longest time, I never believed in it. Yeah. When people tell me, told me about, because uh, I had many doctors prescribe me uh, you know, Zimbalta or Paxil or yep. any of these SSRIs. And I was like, no, nah, man, I'm like, it's situational. I can beat it. I just got to read more about it. I got to learn more about it. I got to practice doing the things so you that can bother do both. me. You, you're supposed to do both. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I'm not going to do the other thing. I'm just going to try and beat it myself. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I ever actually accomplished it. And it's I think fu- if it's funny, a bodybuilder's mindset too, we'll sit here and say, take 800 milligrams of trend, but we won't take a Zimbalta. I know, I know, that's, I know. Not <laughs> that's not because I'm like, I don't want to take the drug. It was more because you, you, you wanted to beat it. it yourself. You feel weak for doing it. For me, yeah, it was a, a feeling of weakness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then I learned, I learned over time and research and just talking to people that it's not a feeling of weakness. It's, it's, no. it's just what it, it is. What you it have is. It's your program. It's your brain, man. Yeah. And look, it took me a lot. Like, I have obviously Melissa to thank a lot more for that because I mean she that's her area of expertise mm-hmm. you know she has a degree in neuroscience like this is her her I world I didn't know that oh, I didn't yeah know that. Um, you know that's that's her world so like she could see at times like I was really suffering and like she kind of pushed me to that but like softly not like you're fucking crazy go see a doctor yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. it was like you know methods of dealing with things and talking of things and you know she kind of like we'd be into that where i then ended up realizing that this was the best option for me you know yeah yeah so yeah do you know having these conversations actually a bit of an opener why is that because i i think maybe i'm identifying some things even with myself having this conversation i literally was just going to say the what same what do you mean james you said something like that? <laughs> perhaps I, I think there's some things i need to face i think like perhaps you know i went through this olympia prep really like 
like I always force control. Like I'm like that person. That I for no matter what's thrown at me, I it's force all, control. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah, yeah, and it's, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. And I was saying that, and then I'm kind of hearing Ian, and I'm like realizing it doesn't have to be that way. No, no. like there is other ways. And I think I'm starting being around people like yourselves can identify that, and maybe this will actually open and some doors in the future that I can find ways to even help myself so, a little bit. So I went through it after my I accident. Think. I had PTSD. Yeah. Um, yeah. I actually had to go as part of the whole process to a therapist and then medication. And the, I said, I spoke to you about this. Mm, yeah. I resisted it in the beginning. Yeah. And then, then it really doesn't work. No. Well, the medication. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. The therapy. Talk, talk therapy. Work. You need but, to want but it. To yeah. Once I started accepting it, holy shit. The, yeah. Then, then it really, the, there's, it works yeah. like when you allow candle. yourself to be vulnerable to it yeah. and like have the real discussions and let yourself like get into it it's it can be very helpful but yeah. it's like you said it if it's for some people they need both because i did the talk yes. therapy uh, yeah i did a lot of talking and i did a lot of reading and i yeah. did a, and it helped me it did it like it got me to a certain point but you can't change brain chemistry but you at some can't, point yeah i couldn't yeah. get over That's the thing. hump with it yeah. and it's like it's funny that james says that so the first time i noticed it and i hope this is okay with you I don't, we can chop it if you yeah. want but so Ian came on my podcast after New York two years ago. Yeah, twenty nineteen. You won, and people were like, "Twenty twenty, yeah, whatever." You yeah. were you won, and people were like, "He shouldn't have won," or yeah. some shit. Yeah. Anyway, Ian was on my podcast, and he fucking cried on my podcast. Yeah. Like, and I could see what like I go through, mm. and and actually I've told him many times before. I'm like, we're the same, because mm. I he'd come out. He he's been on the podcast like two or three times at that point, mm. and I'm like, this guy fucking thinks like I do. I know he does. Mm. And then fast forward like a year after that crying episode and he's on there like this guy sucks and this guy's underrated and I'm the fucking <laughs> shit and I'm going to fucking I'm going to win the fucking Olympia. And I'm like, what happened to this guy's brain? Yeah. <laughs> he went from like this like neurotic, like unsure of himself to, to like fuck you if you're not, yeah, if you're not on my team. Fucking eat my ass. I'm going to fucking win the whole, the whole <laughs> eat my ass. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, let's see. And this and this is where this is a good moment here that I, I think anyone that is going through this needs to learn is taking something like an SSRI won't always eliminate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. help you control things and like where your mind might go. But this in the combination with the therapy is like, then when I have those moments, now I also have the tools to like, be like, okay, this is, it's all good. You don't need so to. So one's working in the back end and, and the one is in the front end. One is the work that I've done. Door, right? yeah. It yeah. Makes, yeah. And then yeah. you have yeah. to. Yeah. Yes. It, yeah. Cause yeah. like, yeah. I still might have those moments, which my brain can then control a little better. Mm. But the thing is then like, I have the tools to then get myself to like snap out of it faster yeah which in combination of not ruminating on it because my brain is wired well, that the way rumination is the tough part yes because you sit there and just oh my fucking, god man i've yeah. like mm. had days where I, like but, i can't even leave but, my house because i would just sit there yeah, and I know. think but, about the same thing over and over that's again. why i said to you i couldn't smoke because the loot got me onto smoking because i couldn't sleep yeah but when i was in that position when i smoke, it would amplify that you yeah. think you yeah. get worse like, oh my yeah. god yeah i can smoke and get high now because I'm in a better space. Yeah, so when I'm happy oh, yeah. now, yeah. it's like now I enjoy that. Right? Well, I mean, but, I didn't, I didn't even smoke weed until yeah. I started <laughs> using that system. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm like, you know, it's like a normal thing because before I would get my anxiety would be amplified. Yeah, it would and like I would crazy. sit there and like you're almost in like a tunnel vision mm. in of your the own same brain. thoughts, but, but, the same thoughts that like might be there, but like in the back of, of your mind yeah, yeah. are now just at the front of your mind. Just yeah, like that's why I don't smoke weed. I don't want to fucking feel that way. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's great. I can control it now. Do you know many people? Oh, I do have depression and then they try and smoke to lessen it but it doesn't it amplifies that. it amplifies I'm telling you now if you are depressed getting high might not be the best no. yeah that's why I don't personally smoke weed yeah because I know it, it would exaggerate some of those feelings Dude, I don't get up. depressed I get really anxious that's yeah. why I don't but then, yeah, that's, yeah. But then that's one it's still drawing forth yeah. a negative yeah. feeling yeah. you know yeah. but that's the, the thing you're a more anxious person Which it's increased. amplifying your anxiety right. yeah. 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 where he might be a little more on the low side it's amplifying yeah. that Dude, moment, yeah. does the time of day affect anxiety for you guys like certain, there's certain time like for me I have trouble sleeping and the doctor's like it's because of your anxiety at yeah. night yeah, yeah I'd say so and I'm like I don't know And but the other night I was telling Fuad it, it was the first time and I actually said it out loud I got in my thought because of just of everything going on in the industry. I was like, what happens if like I go to sleep tonight and I don't wake up? Like, who's going to find me? Like, I have dogs. Like, who's going to know that? Mm, and yeah. I was like, it kept re and I, I literally stopped in my hallway and I go, knock it the fuck off, guy, and go to sleep. Because like I started going down a fucking rabbit hole. Yeah. And I'm like, this is why I can't sleep at night. Like, I I'm good all day. But when it comes to night and that's it's like common, settling though. down, I can't mm. settle down. And that's why I don't sleep. I'm, I'm very sleep, sleep deprived. Yeah. People don't know that about me. I sleep three to four hours a night. And yeah. it's like people joke at me about it. And they're like, how do you stay up and keep going? Because I sometimes don't know how. Yeah. But at night, I can't fucking I can't 
shut off and go to bed. Yeah, I get you. It, it sucks. I'm like... And I'm, I don't know if it's anxiety. Mm. I don't know if it's sleep deprived. I don't know if it's... Because I don't... Sometimes I can't pinpoint what I'm thinking yeah. about. But I feel like I can't calm down and settle down. Well, that's why I get up at like... I get up at like 5 a.m. every day. I get day. up multiple times a yeah, night. Yeah, and I... And I I just get up and I start crying because I'm like, I need to be alive because I'm scared of I'm scared of like closing my eyes and, and that being the last time I don't know I, I do the same it's, in the morning I'm extremely happy and yes, energetic yes and I'm like very focused on the day I'm very orderly I'm very like, well, aware is, of the day this ahead. is the thing sorry to interrupt yeah, no because worries. at the beginning of the day it's a fresh day yeah it's fresh thoughts Even and as control. the day goes on yeah. it's the thoughts build things start to you compound know, sure. things start to compound you think about Oh, I, I you got to pay this bill or, oh, shit, I got to do this or, oh, you know, I, I fucking this or, oh, I got to post for my social media. Oh, I like, you know, yeah. all these things start to compound. And then that by the end of the day is what's then ruminating at the Absolutely. beginning of the day. It's a fresh day. And that's the thing. That's why then I try to I try to force myself to sleep so that it's a fresh day. And it makes it yeah. worse. But then you can't sleep because no. you're so aware of the fact you're trying to force yourself to sleep. Yes. And all of those thoughts yeah. are ruminating. Like yeah, I've had a different problem lately. It's and I told Ben this. And I told Guy this mm. too ever since. So I've had like three very important people in my life passed in the last 10 years yeah two in the last two years mm. john only a month or two ago now mm. and i find that every night before i go to bed now i kiss my wife and tell her i love her yeah yeah, yeah. because i'm like what if i don't wake up in the morning i was like after my mom passed away i didn't yeah. like i never did that yeah. before we would just i get to she would already be in bed i'd go upstairs she'd already be in bed i just lay down next to her and fall asleep and i don't now know if you like, guys catch on to it which is why when like a lot of times i hang up the phone or podcast i'm like love you guys yeah, like I throw it in yeah. there just because I throw it in there just because Such God forbid it's the last podcast. Yeah, I want to make sure I let you guys know, even if it's just a subtle. I don't, you guys. But, I, but that's the thing is I don't do it anymore like that. You know, you you hang up on your. You know, sometimes you call your wife and you're like you talk for a minute. And you're yeah, like, yeah, tell me more about talking and, to my wife. And, well, when your wife calls me, <laughs> we talk for a little while. When your ex wife calls me, when your ex wife calls me, just wish me happy birthday, and I say I, <laughs> love I, you. I say love you, Bethany, and I hang up. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. You're just saying it. But I actually like You want to put intention behind it Yeah when I kiss my wife goodnight now I'm actually like thinking about What if this is the last time yeah. I kiss her goodnight Does she reciprocate or should I Why the fuck do you wake no, me up No she's just like Yeah whatever and I just, like, <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking 2am Fuck off yeah. I, f- I find I find death for a while really like Makes the exaggeration of mortality come forward Very Like yeah. and that's when It's really hard to shake that sense of mortality for a while yeah. So for a good few months Maybe even a year You, you just really become very aware can I tell you? That. Can I tell you how much it, it scarred me? A lot. No, no. Like I've become like calloused. Yeah. Because my mom is sick right now. Yeah. And if my mom was sick three years ago, I wouldn't be here because yeah, the day I the day uh, before I came here, I went to my mom's house to just say you know I'm taking off I you know I want to give her a hug and a kiss goodbye and she found out she was going in for surgery today. I've been getting updates all day, so her surgery went well, so that's good. But, good. But, like, part of me was like, what if I don't see her? What if this is the last time I see her? So I sat with her for, like, five minutes and gave her a long hug and told her I love her and all that shit. But, like, part of my heart is calloused because I've had important people pass in my life. Yeah. And I feel like you're sad and you cry. And then everybody just goes back to normal life. Yeah. And but, then you're not supposed to not go back to normal life. Like, what are you going to do? You have yeah. to. We talked normal. about this the other night. The only thing that's guaranteed once you're born is death. Yeah. No, no, I know, but it's the it's, it's the, the, ca- the calloused yeah. feeling doesn't feel good. No, no, it sucks because you're like all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I guess everybody's just going to die at some point. You almost become expect you, right? you expect it. I, yeah. I I had a little bit. So when I had my accident, I so mine was near death, so I was in the air because I was awake the whole time. Mm. And it felt like an age. I was going through the air, and I can remember when going back to what my therapist, she was asking me what, what was going through your head, and I quite clearly remember I was like, I'm going to hit a wall, and then everything's going to go black, right? Yeah. And it was the calmest, most peaceful time in my life ever, even mm-hmm. to this date, because mm. I was like a complete. I had no control, right? It sounds it's terrifying. Like, it's like getting dropped out of a plane. At some point, you're going to go, well, eventually I'm like, going to hit that. I can't end. flap. Like I can't yeah. flap. Like. I'm yeah. just free falling. So when I got when I was got killed in my car accident, when the truck cut in front of me and stopped to make it even with a U turn, when I hit it, his bucket it was a bucket truck came through my car and hit my passenger seat and then caught my hood and dragged me about fucking 150 feet. It happened so fast, but it was so slow that I can remember the shards of glass yeah. 
coming yeah. at my face and cutting me. It's like a film, right? But it it's was like the weird. Yes, like, just you calm. cannot explain I mean, it. It's calm. We, yeah, it, all yeah. this carnage going yep. on, and you're just it was like, so loud and yeah. so explosive and glass, and I could see everything, and then it just like it was, it was like controlled chaos, and then just stopped. Yeah, and I was like. Then the, then the pain hits. Yeah. <laughs> Once you realize Ow. I'm alive, now you're Ow. like, oh, fuck, what just happened? But, yeah. but going through that, like, really just put death in a very clinical perspective for me. That's it becomes clinical. And that's yeah. sad. Uh, I, yeah, cause, because when things are clinical, it's almost like the emotions removed a little bit. That's what I mean by and, callous. And that's what I found tough, because, like I say, when, when my mum passed away, I dressed her after she passed away. Like, I cleaned her up and everything. That's I, what I did oh, for my dad. Yeah. And that, uh, that made me... I looked at her like she was just I know it sounds terrible but just like she was just there a piece of meat yeah and it, and that removed all of my sense of like everything that's not what happened to me yes it did to me it made that's me weird. it made me look at her like she, it was like nothing and I it hated wasn't that her. yeah yeah I hated that I wonder if it's the ritual itself because our ritual so as a as a Muslim like I don't practice mm. it but my my father obviously did so when my father passed the ritual is you have the sons yeah clean the body like he's on a, he's on the table yeah, like yeah. the aluminum table yeah. the sons clean the body yeah. you drain the body yeah. and then you wrap the body in a white sheet yeah, yeah. and just leave his head showing yeah, yeah. and then they wrap the head last when they yeah, bury him and uh, it was almost therapeutic yes he was like we were like you know you're, you're watching almost like him closure and, yeah, it was because then everybody left the like after we wrapped my dad's body yeah, like yeah. you even put cologne, a little bit of cologne on him and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody left the room and it was just me and him and I kind of got to say a last few words and I don't know the whole thing was almost therapeutic in a way. Yeah. But what's callous? What what's made me callous is the it's next de- the de- next size. the next two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know Luke passed a couple of years ago and then yeah. a couple of years after now John's passed and I'm like. It's, yeah fuck man it's like well the more something happens the, the and it's more it weird does that it's weird seeing especially John, John's hit me hard because of how much people love him yeah and even though people love him that much there's only so much time and then everyone's yeah, gonna yeah, move I, back I, on I, I, I think where you're going with this is you don't want there to be but there does come a time where you stop being upset or like it's not always on your mind and you're like you you want it to always be there you want to always remember those people and always think about them and always have them. but after time it's like they still come into your memory but not as often as it's not, not as not much a me personally thing it's a is in general yeah. yeah no that's what i'm saying that's, yeah, that's yeah. what i'm saying yeah yeah in general in general i feel like people just move on with their life and they're supposed to they have to oh, yeah. that's like that's life but you're like but you're like but then you're like it's sad yeah, Fuck, yeah that's right? why i do yeah, the yeah. loop thing on a sunday yeah, because to me, I'm like, okay, I'm I gonna keep to. that alive. That's what I love. You know, so I didn't want to do that because people were like, <laughs> no, people I, were like, you should do a Meadows Monday, and I'm like, what am I gonna do? Some for every fucking yeah, day of the yeah, week, yeah, like soon. I'm like, yeah. no, I get, I, I don't want to like, but but like I remember early on, I do the podcast, and then I I feel guilty that you and I were large. You, you remember the time we did the UFC thing, the very first one we did? Yeah, it was like that was like the three weeks or four weeks no, after. It was sooner than that, I think. It yeah, like, it was like it a couple was weeks after Luke passed. Then yeah, we've told it before, but we were, but it was weird that relationship because. It was almost like me and Ben didn't know each other, but we were leaning on each other. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was extremely sad, but he was also, I think you were dieting at the time. No, no, no. You were I, dieting yet? I, I just started. I, I started the day, like, I don't know. I was like, it was I'm weird. It was like we were trying to set up the GoFundMe, and we are Yeah. And then, like, we were just kind of leaning on each other. Yeah. He was calling me, and I was calling him, and it's like nobody, nobody was actually dealing with it. Yeah. It was weird. And then we just became friends, and then... But I remember going through guilt because... Sometimes we would laugh on the phone and have fun. Yeah. And then you like, feel oh, bad. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be having fun right now. That's where I was going. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah. shouldn't do certain things because that person passed and you yeah. feel guilty yeah. for having other emotions yeah. rather than just sad or upset or. Yeah, yeah. It's funny though because there was a certain point. It might have been a month or two or even three later where we both stopped and were like, that was weird. <laughs> we were kind of leaning on each other like we were friends, but we yeah. weren't really friends because we just met each other. Yeah. But now we've become actual friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it was just a strange like. Speaking of of Luke being involved in all this, we we actually all got a little piece of Luke this weekend oh. from. Oh, we should bring up yeah, the bells real quick. Did. Let's let's let's, let's divert right. the, 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 the depressing you, talk. You, you I saw the story. Yeah. Just yeah. Talk. It's not depressing. <laughs> we so first, I, I love cool. this one. So this is. Why do we? Oh, it, it, it was the last one out of the box, and the first one on the podcast. 
Guy yeah, Cisternino is also known as Leaky Cisternino. <laughs> <laughs> so it's obviously officially a Sando industry. And it's a sand, these are all Sandow industries, so I like that there's the tribute to Luke. Yeah, that's awesome. And then uh, Quadro. That's sick. Well, that's what, had Leaky started? I, I don't even remember. Remember, because you said something was leaky. When and then I said something was leaky, and then you're like, don't steal my word. I'm like, okay, you're leaky sister, and you know that. Yeah, but I forget what I was referring to. It doesn't matter. The fans sure. fucking, I, I shouldn't even have said well, it. I think it was a DM. dick strip, no? A what? Well, dick I'm trip. Trip. <laughs> you show your own belt. Oh, I'm just That's Ben's. Him. Real men squat. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> That's an argument we got into, which is total bullshit, by the way. Why? These guys <laughs> argue with me on the podcast. It's not even real. So we got I our, argue uh, with you off the podcast too. Yeah, yeah but it's real. bullshit. You just like to argue. <laughs> so we got our and you do too. Yeah, we yeah. got an argument once about music, and yeah, I was like, I like to have loud, heavy music when I'm squatting, and they're like, No, we don't need music. It doesn't matter. But you're full of shit. I squat seven hundred pounds to. Christmas but you're full Aguilera. of shit because I, I see your videos. It. I like. I've done I it. see your videos when you post them on Instagram, and there's like loud music playing. I'm like, they're fucking lying. No, no. Okay. Over the so, top. my point was, I can squat to anything. It doesn't change it. That's not what your point was. You weren't it's saying. My point I, today. You weren't saying I can <laughs> squat <point> now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I listen is, to a lot of Camila Cabello. Oh, Camilla Camilla yeah. She was just over there. I don't know she yeah, where'd she go? She was that. That's what I do cardio to. Nick Walker's not here, but he's the squirt king. Actually, he'll be home this weekend. I'm going to take it. He'll be yeah. in Jersey. Yeah. Ass test. I'll give him his ass tastic belt, Nick. Maybe I'll raffle this off and make some real money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raffle. Yeah. On the this classic is a, champion. Yeah, belt. This is my belt. favorite one. Don't even let him have it. Here, read it off. <laughs> show Nick. Wait, it goes with your tracksuit as well. <laughs> this is. Oh yeah, my pretty match. Yeah, look at very this. Show, today. show Nick. Yeah, the this is the camera. Shit stirring charcuterie champ. <laughs> <laughs> Watch my deadlift. <laughs> So That's this is good. mine. It's got the Bodybuilding Bollocks logo. These are really cool to me. Yeah, this is awesome, man. It's got Ed. the Real Bodybuilding Podcast logo, and it's Married Muscle, obviously, because every time anything comes up on the podcast, I can't talk about it because I'm married. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, It's your colors name. as well. Yeah, it's the hostile colors. Yeah, it yeah, is, pretty cool. is the hostile colors. That's we got cool. James, Mr. Pauling Shed. Yeah. Pauling Shed. Pauling Sheed. No socks, ladies. Yeah. yeah. That's it. No socks, ladies. I need to see some of them toes. And the last one is for Mr. Paul Lozon. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the least. way, I need to read something so you guys eat, know. Eat ass and grow weed. <laughs> <laughs> These are good quality. There's a lot of weight to these. What's Crown? And then so, I have BB Judge at the end of it. Oh, too, yeah. Just, and it's just a yes. Crown custom I have belts. BB Judge. The guy actually messaged me. I'm trying to find his Sorry, who What's is his this name? guy? Should we give him a shout out? Yeah, Edward. What is it? Camari. Cam I got it here. Edward. It's Crown Custom Belts. Crown custom belts. It's Edward Kameyer. What's this? I believe it's Kameyer. Oh, you Kameyer. fucking goat. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. What is this? Read me first. Oh. You want to read it? Oh, my no, God. Well, just so you I'll know. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I, got an, I got a message, and the guy told me that Paul, your Paul, was in on this entire thing. Was he really? Yes. He, and, he, and he goes, Paul can keep a secret because he's been in on this since day one, wow. and he kept his mouth shut the entire time really? and never said a word. Yeah, he messaged me. I'm trying to find the message. No, no, Paul was high and forgot. Oh, these are just crown. It says, read me first, though. Yeah. Right? What is this? Yeah, let me see. There was something else in here. Yeah, it might be an actual. No, there's a. Oh my! Are you fucking stupid? No, he's just totally bypassed. Oh my god! I handed. I didn't see it. I handed the box to him. I don't look at me. That was just it. No, I didn't whole see Did you open the box note. upside it's a down? Long note. All right. Well, do you want me to read it? I can summarize it if you want. We're just gonna read it. Okay. We'll be the whole he's got the best readings. A monologue. Let us be polite and read it. He's the host. You should be able to. He read sent it. us fucking eight belts. I, mean, I intended we... to write eight separate letters, one for each of you personally, but life events have stepped in the way, so I'll attempt to be brief. With this letter, Fuad's, podca Fuad's podcasts are incredibly helpful to a great number of people in the audience, as you already know from your interactions with many of us. The advice and guidance that you provide to young people who are interested in pursuing some f some physique sport or achieving their own greatness is a tremendous value that is sorely missed from our K through 12 and postgraduate education system. The humor and camaraderie that the, that that company that accompany each episode is a glaring light in a world that increasingly has become oppressive and so. fights politically against freedom of expression. Every single one of you has ha of you has a dedication to the art of your physique that pushes us to strive for happiness and success in our own lives. Every week or even multiple times a week religiously uh, we religiously tune in to forget our problems and focus on something that brings us immense joy and a sense of community that is sorely lacking in a world that is becoming more and more virtual. 
Many of us have, many of us found the podcast during difficult medical disasters, mental health crises, and human suffering of all shapes and sizes. Sizes. The podcast and its focus has assisted countless people in taking the first step in a long journey to embrace goals we didn't know we even had. In some cases, likely saving our lives or at least en enriching it far more than it was. And that process has turned most of us into diehard fans that you that you see that see all of you as virtual family. I do not know how many people have pulled themselves out of darkness they stumbled into during their lives due to your efforts to simply put yourselves out there to help educate and inspire. I do know how you helped me personally and how much that's meant. If any of you are confused because I haven't interacted with you directly, Fuad probably still has my email from May 2020. And Guy might also be, be able to remember if he thinks about it hard. <laughs> Paul might also, but this isn't about me and my story. It's, all, it's about all of you. So I present you with these belts as a token of the entire audience's appreciation. After two years of podcasting, I hope you all enjoy these belts that were designed with inside jokes and podcast lore in mind. Not everyone has been as financially successful in their lives, and I hope the audience at large doesn't mind that I'm happy to make the, make the gift of these belts on their behalf, on behalf of all of those who would love to do something similar but simply can't give given their circumstances. Well, Chris, the belt maker at Crown Belts, took painstaking efforts to guide me through the best materials for each belt and design. His fabrication work is simply some of the best I've ever seen from a leather worker. I know some of you have allegiances to other belt makers, and I'm not trying to get any of you in trouble with them, especially if you're sponsored. For this project, I needed hands on attention detail that was unavailable at larger operations. I came up with the concepts that I wanted to present and immediately engaged one of the most talented graphic designers that are the artists and artists in the world. Jill Blanford of Blanford Designs. Hit her up if you have a unique project that you want perspective on. Jill has been a close friend of mine since college. We've been friends for 20 years. She was not in tune with the bodybuilding or physique world prior to March of this year when I brought up the idea when she took the project, she listened and watched over 100 hours of the podcast wow. while working on the layouts to understand each of you a little better and pour that into the project. If you are impressed with the belts, I was the least involved, but any thanks should go to Jill and Chris for bringing my vision together perfectly. Finally, I must address the people who aren't receiving belts. It took us about six months to get these made. We put a lot of time into them. I frankly thought this would go much quicker, but everyone has competing priorities. And as I mentioned in the beginning, life gets in the way sometimes. So to Roman, Brett, Nathan, and any other newcomer that I missed, please don't worry that you aren't included this round. It's not a slam or slight. You just weren't involved heavily back in March when we started this. I must take some time to find the right inside jokes for your special belts. Mm -hmm. Your trip to gasp is timely since it allowed me to avoid multiple shipments. And since I wanted these to be a surprise, Paul is really the only one that knows about any of this. And I hope he kept the secret. But if he didn't, he still owes you a piercing. Maybe he can get, maybe he can use his secret with me to get out of that debt. Nobody wants to see a customs officer with an eyebrow ring, let, lest his manhood be questioned. But a bet is a bet. The honorable, see, the honorable see it through. Lastly, thank you for everything you do. I realize that it's just another day at the office, but you figured out a way to bring a tremendous value to your followings and by participating in this endeavor of community. That is highly commendable in an increasingly poisonous and divisive world. If one of you would DM me just to let me know you received the belts, that would be helpful so I can let Chris make an IG post to promote his work. Paying it all forward, Ed Kamayer. P.S. A few people out there, a few people will not be there. Obviously, Fuad can take, take Paul's belt back with him, and I suspect since Guy will be seeing Nick, blah, 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 James, Redcon, Gasp. Special thanks to MJ for holding these for you until you got there. Thank awesome. you, guys. That was fucking awesome, man. Yeah, yeah man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Awesome deal, man. Can I say one thing I just noticed as well? They're magnetic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I noticed that too yesterday. Yeah. These are fancy. That's, um, it's so cool to see what this podcast does for people. You yeah. Know? That ties in a lot with what we were just talking literally, about. I was right? literally I was thinking that when he was like saying, I was like, that was a perfect segue into. Because we, it's just us talking, talking shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is what we do. You know what I get more than anything? You know, all, obviously we've all gotten the, I was depressed and you helped me and blah, blah, blah. Honestly, man. I don't think a lot of, I don't, I think there's a lot of people that don't have a lot of friends. Yeah. And I think when we're all sitting around, sitting around shooting the shit feel like and they're, they're watching connect, it, you know? they're sitting there, they're friends. They're shooting shit with us. Yeah. They're I like, think that's why the inside jokes and like the way people talk, like they actually 
feel like they're part of the, the, the or podcast. Like, or like what you talked about earlier, we're so busy, and especially if they're bodybuilders as well, you know, our days are all structured out that we don't have time to have that social time. Yeah. So their social time is listening to us while they're doing cardio yeah. and yeah. being one with the yeah. one with the podcast. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. I mean, guys listen to me all the time. They're like, yeah, I'm at work. I'm at the factory. Yeah. I have your shit on in the background. Like, makes me feel like I'm hanging out with my friends while I'm at work. Like, it's it's weird, man. It's but, weird. But you'll, you'll do this sometimes, and I think Ian alluded to it earlier. You do all of the podcasts. Mm. Well, sometimes, like, I've been for a couple of weeks without, and I'm, I'm like, I haven't got my social release. Yeah, yeah. And so he's like, oh, I don't want to do one this week, so we'll skip next week. And in my inside, I'm going, oh, man, that's a bummer. Well, See, that, I never feel like that. Whatever, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You whatever, don't. I, no, 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 no. I mean, when I message you guys, inevitably, I feel like I'm bothering you. It's funny because I had a ton of people, especially when I was at the Olympia and, like, other shows, would be like, surprised that I was still doing the podcast in such good mood like right before like big week shows out, yeah. you know and I was like man because I don't I don't see that as like a job I see that as like when I get to do a podcast this week and week out like that's good that's good yeah. for me you yeah. know like that's good for my mental health like that's good for me to get on there and like you know if I am feeling something I can talk about with the boys you know yeah, if yeah, I yeah. you know if I'm in a bad mood we can get in there and have funny conversations and I'll I will a hundred percent I never go into a podcast and leave it in a I always leave in a significantly better mood yeah, than I get yeah. into. Well, they say like laughter is the best medicine, right? And I guarantee you, I will laugh hard, harder than I have a week in that moment. Yeah. I leave the podcast feeling worse sometimes. From what? Yeah, we've had some conversations about what we've talked about. And that yeah, you, but you're in a different. No, it's no, not him thinking the podcast isn't good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're yeah. in a different yeah, position. I mean. We I'm get, so critical. I don't know if I post we that. get the payoff. You're the one that then has to. I'm so like it's not, a, it, and I know people are going to take it wrong. It's not about views or money or. I just want it to be good. I I think if you question that for however many years you questioned what you just said, those belts in that note should solidify any question. You'll always have have these thoughts. I'm saying it should, but I know it won't. So it's like in my bodybuilding career, I did the same thing. I was literally about to say as a bodybuilder, I'll always think I'm shit. You know, like it's how it is. Wait till you're It's funny. I look back now. (laughs) I think I said this to these guys. I look back and think you're better than I look back and I'm like, man, if I I had known I was that good, I would have competed way more and I wouldn't have been so hard on myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is probably the same thing. I'll probably look back at this 10 years from now and be like, Fuck, this was why huge. was I so worried? I don't think yeah. I've ever told you when you've called me and said, uh, should I cut that? Should I leave it out? I've never said no. Like, I've never said, yeah, yeah. cut it out. I'm going to leave it. Leave it well, alone. There's some days out. I'll call and I'll be like, I don't think I'm going to post that yeah, one at all. We've had that conversation yeah. multiple times. I'm just like, no, post <laughs> it. Stop it. Post I it. I think it was good. I get annoyed when he does that. I'm like, I just wasted my fucking time. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that's, I'm like, yeah, cheers. Like, put that out. That actually gets me sometimes. So I'm like, I don't want to make this guy feel like he just wasted two hours of his we life. We should be like, if you don't post it, you owe us $1,000 for being on the podcast. Oh, yeah, the thing is, you have to think about this as you might think it is boring content, but you also have to think that the most popular videos in the are people eating fucking food. So, like, mm. you know, in terms of what is entertaining to you being in it versus other people watching mm. it, it's, it's not vastly different. But it's not about entertaining. Sometimes we get a, it's weird. We go on a deep one sometimes, and sometimes we go down the, the, the morale. Sometimes feels a bit off after. Yeah, that's right. So sometimes we'll talk. Like, sometimes we'll talk and we'll just go we'll go from one joke to another and we're all pissed on ourselves. Like there was one we did it was the four of us when you were cutting off well cutting off guy. We were pissing ourselves. Then we did the three of us did one. We were laughing our asses off. Mm. But there are some that are like they're not but it's more like I need the questions. And we got it and then we burn through the questions and there's no deeper conversation, there's no rabbit hole conversation, there's no there's no there's not a ton of comedy so i'm like when i'm done sounds I'm like, like cop the ones that i'm not in when i'm done i'm like <laughs> the ones that guys aren't in are always deeply influential on me. They have a very good conversation <laughs> nobody interrupts anybody else and the guys on uh, it's just yeah. fucking chaos guys, it's just chaos when guys on yeah. no but um yeah so that's why i just i always feel like there's a formula if it's if it's not there's some you know some of the most popular ones i posted i'm like this sucks yeah and I, I literally say, I'm like, this fucking podcast sucked. Yeah. And I post it, and they're some of the most popular ones. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You do audience dictates, you know, and they have their own feelings towards it. And that's it. why I don't yeah, listen so there's to no myself. Yeah, so there's no point tampering with stuff. Yeah. I mean, and look, you know? like, there's even been moments where, you know, I've said stuff on the podcast where after I get off and I, like, oh, feel super anxious shit. about it, you know? I'm like, fuck, should I text Fuad and take that off? And those will be the <laughs> same things that'll be in the comments that people will enjoy the most. Yeah, like yeah, saying Kevin LaRoney is overrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that one was probably a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A year later, a year later. Okay, I don't take that one back. <laughs> I'll take back. I'll take back Kevin and its in in te- its intent. But I, yeah. I, I stand by my. I'll tiger. tell you what's overrated. <laughs> I, I had this thought on the way here. 
Do you guys <laughs> Do you guys have trouble peeing on a plane? No. 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 Every time I go to the bathroom on a plane and I stand there, I get stage fright and I'm by myself. Wow. I, it's like, I don't know if it's because the plane's hey, moving. You know what it's I do? every fucking time. And hey, I'm like Look at the size I, of all of us. We should have what, you, you got to sit you down. Got room. You got fucking just sit room. down to pee. You can what? lay down. Yeah, on a plane yeah, if you can't piss, sit down. Or no, relax. I can, but it, t- it literally will take me almost. Yeah. I'll be in the bathroom thinking, fuck, they all probably think I'm shitting in here. And, I'm try- okay. and I can't yeah, piss. That's what I'm saying. Why don't you just walk in, turn around, sit down, and just let it go? Whatever. Because uh, you can't really open your, even in first class. Come it's on, like you're not you that can't- big. Come on. I honestly I can sit down Hold my piss The entire flight Almost all the time I never Why? do Yeah uh, wait, I wait. Just, I like I So wait, so wait I, Are you So you are you agreeing with me That it's hard to pee on a plane I just am I, Maybe I'm Fuad And too lazy on this one I just will not get up on a plane <laughs> so I like to get up And walk on a plane No Yeah But, but I mean, you don't have trouble peeing Ian, Ian what's the longest flight You've ever done 10, 12 hours Oh you okay hours? You went you the whole time Oh no I've, I've stood up on those ones But like You it, held your pee I mean, like when I would do like flights, you know, from Ottawa to Vancouver, Ottawa to Vegas, that's like five, six hours. Like, I'll not get up at all. I oh, have like the after shit. sex pees, you know, like when you like, oh, it yeah, takes yeah. a little while to yeah. pee. It's like I stand there and I'm like, you gotta coax it a little yeah, bit. I'm like, come on, buddy. Yeah, like, it's like, like, I, I start like tearing myself out. I'm like, come on, you could just, you, just, you got uh, it. just once you dr- dribble, it'll you know, start coming. Like, just, I don't like the after sex pee. No, yeah, I'm no. saying that's what I feel like on the plane. Like it won't oh, just okay. come out. Yeah, that's like, why I, I, I like. That's why I like showering after sex. I gotta give I myself a pep talk. Hey, no, 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 <laughs> you get like this really sensitive feeling. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I already like, I already. Yeah, but it's almost like you're coming a second time. Yeah, but it's not a good. It's coming. not a good. It's, not, it's like yeah. irritating. It's like you it's know, like, uh, after you come and the, the girls, like, like, you're like, don't yeah, touch me, yeah, don't touch me, don't touch me. But if you after you come and the girls touching you, you're like, no, no, that doesn't no, feel good. That's like, why I like the shower one because you can relax. You don't have to like aim them. Yeah, you don't have to worry. You just you can let it dribble out. I don't force it out. I'm just saying it's just it's see, t- it I, I do that too, and then I just wipe up the floor wherever I. Do. <laughs> I, do that, I, do my foot. I just stand there, just like you shower after sex. Uh, I I can't go to bed like all crusted up. Yeah, uh, like a fucking just, yes. like a glazed so donut. Clean. <laughs> yeah, you got at least clean. You know, did you ever like have sex and then wake up like hours later and you're like peeling like oh, white shit and I'm like, ah, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. had this happen. Yeah. I did once. <laughs> I got, I got a good one for this so too. I, I, How you started it? <laughs> you know what I did once? So Go ahead. my wife, my wife took off, and I just I had the urge, so I fucking had a wank. Yeah. And I thought I, I know what that means. And I thought, it, yeah. So I cleaned up. So I thought I did, and I was walking around oh, no. with my shorts on, but I had my shirt off still. So you had a nice white my tattoo. Wife, my wife comes home. She's like, uh, "Did you have a little fun without me?" I'm like, "No." She's like, yeah, hey, you did. I'm like, what are you talking about? I just fucking... She's like, why did it dry? She's like, uh, you forgot to clean up everything. I'm like, and it was fucking crusty right here. <laughs> I was like, I'm oh, She's like, you fucking missed the mayonnaise on your cheeseburger like, yeah. tits. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, I, might have had, I might have had a little fun. <laughs> this is, I, I have a good one on this. A, a different color substance, but. So I, look, I'm all for. Yeah. Pull this yeah, it's super loud. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm all for period sex. I'm not against it in any stretch. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Wait, wait, I'm not all for it. I'm just I'm not against with it. it. I'm not okay. against it. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'm not for it, but I'm not against it. I'm <laughs> neutral. Uh, I'm pro. I'm pro. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're pro, like you want to. Yeah. You prefer. You prefer I won't, you're, you're, you're you're really sex. I won't it's got a different feel to it. So <laughs> There's I'm, literally <laughs> nothing that James likes in sex that's normal. <laughs> is it all? No, you like five minute sex in a rush. Yeah, but quick. is there anything that James likes that's normal? No, actually there isn't. You like shitting when you can't like get to a toilet. Well, I like that too. That's exciting. <laughs> does, that, does, that, does that just make it interesting for you guys? Just, okay. Yeah, anyway, so what's the problem? Yeah, Go yeah, on. Yeah. Okay. So I can't remember how, how long. Obviously, before I met Melissa, um, I'd been single for a while. So my buddy Mike was like, "Oh yeah, come down to." He lived in the other side of Ottawa, and his girlfriend lived over there, and they were going to a house party. She's like, "Come down with us." Like you know, her friend, this girl. I, I mean, I, she'll probably never see this girl named Morgan. Mm. She's like, "Come down." You know, she's totally gonna see this. I hope she does. You could have just said this girl. <laughs> throw her name in. Someone Morgan, was, Morgan, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, it makes it more real. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, get this to her now because he'll definitely do this. Okay, so then I go down, and uh, I started drinking at his at her house with him before I met this girl. So he's like, "Yeah, she's got this friend, blah blah blah." And 
her, his girlfriend Sam was hot. So when she said she had a, a friend that was cute, I mm. trusted her judgment, yeah. which I shouldn't have. Yeah. You know, girls always say even their ugly friends exactly. are good. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, she's or real guys nice. Guys will be like, "Yo, my friend's fucking ugly." Like they, they don't give a shit about. <laughs> Why do you put it you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm like I'm like the just innocent bystander. <laughs> so it's like when when the girl goes, "Oh yeah, my friend's nice." Yeah. Huh? So I'm half a two six. Two six. Ah, yeah. I know what I'm about now. Yeah. I'm you know what? Yeah. So twenty six or huh? Twenty six or of alcohol. I'm lost. You don't know what our podcast. Yeah, pay attention, Ben. Jesus. Well, will explain this. You got homework. Anyway, go ahead. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty drunk by the time we get to the party. Yeah. Okay. This girl was obviously better looking. At, at this point Big she was you're wasted she was not great looking yeah. 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 sorry Morgan if you hear this but <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really remember meeting her or anything like this I just remember being really drunk and like it must have been really quick into meeting her and she's sitting on my lap at a kitchen table and we're just like making out like violently like yeah. disgusting like <laughs> high school drunk, like slobbering. saliva yeah. fucking yeah. you know and then I just remember leaving the house and we were walking back to Sam's house and I remember Someone, it was either Mike or Sam, said something about like, "Yo, she's she's down to fuck, but something, something." And I couldn't remember what he said, but I was just like drunk, and I was just like, "Yeah, yeah, it's cool, whatever." Down to fuck, I heard down to fuck. Yeah, so I was just like, "Yeah, whatever, cool." So we go back to Sam's house. We we and her go down to the basement. They go upstairs, whatever. I have sex with her. Okay, so I wake up. It was bright outside, but like still, where it was like kind of dim. It must have been like five, six a.m. You know. Yeah. I wake, go upstairs to take a piss. And I, I'm taking a piss, and then I put my my dick back in my boxers, and I look back down my boxers, and they're just like blood red, oh. like soaked, like the whole thing. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So that's what they had said to me. It's like, yo, she's down to fuck, but she's on her period. Oh, like, do you, you didn't care? hear the rest? And I just like, I was just like drunk and horny. I'm just like, Rat, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Which I still, I still wouldn't have cared. Yeah. You know, but like, you been, but, well, if yeah, I was yeah, sober, yeah. I might have cared. Given it would have yeah. yeah. dried blood anywhere in your face. Wait, <laughs> no, <laughs> but I had like. Enough, like I had. I always am like really OCD with cutting my fingernails, but I had enough that like oh, my hands no. were like caked under my fingernails. Oh, like, oh, I guess they're going deer hunting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So like I'm like crusted blood, like dried fingernails. Oh. So you're finger banging this chick, thinking she's finger wet because she's into you, and she's just bleeding oh, yeah. like, like I a stump. She's so bleeding like a stump pig. She's, she's going. Oh, he must really like me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll give it to her. It was, it was decent sex, but anyway. So then she <laughs> still remembers from like 20 years ago. Morgan on a scale of one. 10 <laughs> and then but the and then it was like i felt like kind of like weird about it you know gross <sighs> only gross because like i didn't know her and it was like yeah. she, and then in the morning she was a lot obviously like less good looking than i thought yeah. was you she know? covered in blood I, I don't know. She, like by the time scene. I saw her, like i took a piss and then i went down put my clothes on went up back upstairs and then she came up later and then after that, it's like she comes upstairs and like it's like the morning she like sits on my lap. Oh and like, no! And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh. Mike, I'm like, yo, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah. you know, I like, had to leave. I was getting such bad anxiety about yeah. like, the whole situation. Yeah. You know, I didn't know how to approach it after that. But fuck yeah, it was a good. I one. can't handle the the morning after. Yeah, I don't even want to. I shouldn't probably talk about it. But the morning after fucking sucks. Yeah. The whole like they yeah. I, I, don't, I can't get into it. They think they're your bird. They're bird. They're bird. They think they you'll, you'll, oh, yeah. you'll fucking miss Oh, yeah. Thing. She was like making plans for like what we were going to go out and do that. So day, you know? Fuck yeah, I'm going to go take a fucking shower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's I need do, a let's do a couple shower. more questions. Yeah. And you go, yeah, see are there people here for the meet and greet? They're out here an hour. Ago. Clog that fucking, we did I think blood. there's a lot of people. We here. did one fucking we'll question. Out. We'll do a couple more questions. Didn't we do one? We did one. Fuck me. Let's go rapid fire. All right. When is Guy's wedding? Soon. <laughs> Soon. After he meets his girl. July, it, was, it, was, uh, it was actually January 7, 2011. <laughs> yeah, there'll be another one. July 2022. He's going to meet February. By February. You're predicting that. He's going to meet this, this, the meet and greet today. Yeah. She's here. He's been waiting for us. Yeah, 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 I think if we keep talking about it, she's here. She's here. She's here. <laughs> I'm probably going to ma- end you, up marrying her. Like, right. If we talk ex. about it enough, one will come out of the woodwork for sure. Might as well, bro. The marry my ex. No, not my ex wife. My ex wife. Uh, what was one thing you learned about guns and firearms that surprised you? What? Don't take pictures. I love them. Don't I take, love, don't take pictures with your finger them. on the trigger. Yeah. Oh, Tr- yeah. trigger uh, safety. Don't take pictures of your of your target sheet while everybody else is still shooting their guns. I think there's a better <laughs> lesson learned. Don't put your finger on the trigger and post a picture knowingly. Well, I, besides the picture, don't do it. Don't period. put your finger on the trigger. Period. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just two things it. you don't post online: that yeah. finger on the trigger, and don't post yourself like killing an animal. Yeah, that's bad. Mm. Yeah. That's what this is. Brand Branch gave me those two tips. Yeah. He goes, I posted one time. People hate that on. I posted oh, yeah. uh, a 
that deer I killed yeah, in yeah, Texas. You got, and I you got, got creamed. The, I got creamed. Yeah. But then, we went, you know what I did? I was in Texas. We skinned it. I went outside. I did the videos st- and I put the Rocky theme song in the background because it was already skinned. And I started punching the deer for like five minutes bare. And I go, not only do I shoot what, my man, meat. I, I, don't, I would never feel bad if I knew I was going to eat it. No, that's what I don't understand. I would never feel bad. So I took Yvonne to hunting like the first time, you know, when we first started men, she shot a deer and she posted it. Oh. And that was when I learned, you know, that was, she yeah, but got I, cream. I would tell this all those people, I would Look, unless like, you're a vegan, I'd be like, you have absolutely nothing did. to be hypocritical Unless about. you're a vegan, don't fucking talk no, about yeah, that. No, yeah. no, I disagree because vegans are the only ones that push their agenda on meat eaters. You never see meat eaters no, no, but push agendas point, but no, no, on my vegans. Is, is if you still eat meat, you're no one to... Yeah, you're probably worse than the person yeah. that's hunting. Oh, yeah, because like, yeah. people will... Manufactured meat is way farm, more inhumane than... I'll yeah. never yeah. forget one of the comments I clicked on. They're like, how dare you fucking kill that animal? Did you... Did you, you didn't even pay for your meat. And I'm like, do you even know anything? Like, I paid for my hunting tag. I paid for my flight to get here. And then I went on his page. His first... Like the last bur- picture like he posted, mm-hmm. it was a burger. Yeah, because they don't know, man. They it's think cool. it's People also don't air. understand that, like, hunting, like, a, hunt, hunters in a lot of cases are, like, the biggest conservationists. Like, tags are based off of the population. Like, there's a lot of things that go into, like, the science of, you know, how many tags are allocated and what areas yes. and things and controlling there's populations. It's not, only, it's not only that. Any hunter that I know that I've spoken to always says they use every fucking part of the air. Yeah. Yes. Well, and, like, like my, my Michael said the other day, like, in Norway, there's a certain amount of moose to have to, there's a requirement yeah you yes. have to yeah yeah to keep numbers at a certain right. but, yeah. but i will say that's this. what i'm saying about conservation mm-hmm. it's like there's right. there's no, it's there is sometimes rhyme behind like the reason of yeah. you know why certain amounts are allocated in certain you know areas it's like okay their population could be coming you know out of control and that's killing off another animal yes. you know? it's killing off crops or crops or anything Which, you know you, so, see what, you see what PETA's doing most recently what they want to do what oh my god the, the baseball thing, thing? so what? they want to you know in baseball where the pitchers warm up they call it a bullpen yeah they think that's offensive that's to bulls, bulls and the pit, bulls oh, that live in pins or so they want to call it the arm barn instead the arm barn yeah. the arm barn how's it harmful to bulls <laughs> bulls are bulls have, like, do, do, yeah we do got the bulls know that we, <laughs> yeah. we call it that <laughs> okay who looked the smallest and biggest in real life well, you got to answer in my in my honest opinion everybody looked pretty much exactly what they thought they're i thought they're gonna look like yeah yeah, I already knew you were fucking wide as fuck because yeah. I met you. You know, we met a bunch of times. Yeah. Guy's small. <laughs> Ian's tall, or Ben's tall and skinny. Uh, James is thick as fuck, and Brett actually surprised me. Brett's bigger than you think. Brett, Brett I knew Brett was big, but he was yeah, yeah thicker than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Brett surprised me. Yeah. Ben, Ben, we still have legs to do tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I have an injury. I can't train like that. Fuck up, Paul. You don't have an injury. You have a DVT. <laughs> <laughs> Um, who buried who in regards to training on this trip? I can't train. I can't keep up, so I'll take the buried tag on that. Um, <laughs> what was your what was your favorite part about finally hanging out in person? Just hanging, hanging out in person. Hanging Just out hanging in person. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, top three. Oh, no, we did that before. Smelling the person for the first time. <laughs> Getting their scent. Starting scent. <laughs> Uh, who humbled who the most during these workouts together? Well, we've only done one. It's the same. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought. We, tra- we trained shoulders well, yesterday. James is stronger than both of us. Ian, ben was stronger than me, and we trained. But the intensity was the same. Like we yeah. all, yeah, we delivered the same. We delivered the same. Your own weights. Yeah, but everybody is yeah. of different strengths. Mm. So yeah, I don't think there's like if you're going to talk about weights and like how much weight you're lifting in terms of being That's so daring somebody bearing someone. It's body, mm. you got to take into consideration then, then body fine. weight these three these three could probably train together right like brett yeah. mm. and then if we're doing legs you can i don't know how strong you are i forget you ben could probably hang with these guys on strength yeah, too actually yeah. mm. um but when i judge if somebody got buried or not in a gym it's more often than not intensity yes because mm. i've because if i train with a kid who just started right i don't care if he's benching one plate and i'm benching benching mm-hmm. three but if he taps out halfway through the workout, I'm yeah, like, yeah. But that's why we can all train together because it doesn't matter if he's yes. doing 11 plates and yeah. I'm doing nine plates. Yeah. We're give it your plates. Well, and I, right. I got this a lot when I started training with Mark. That's right. When I was training with Mark all the time, like, and I'd do Q and A's, or people would be like, "How do you train with Mark? Or how do you train with Ian? Like, isn't he so much stronger?" It's like, yeah, but the strength is the intensity. I can train with Melissa and have an amazing workout. That's right. Or like, even now, I'm training with Kyle Wilkes, like another yeah. bodybuilder who's strong, but then yeah. also Eddie, who's like, You're welcome by the way for Kyle because he left Jersey and I was training with him like three yeah, times. Yeah, Kyle's a week. good. You're so welcome. I'm training with Kyle. And Eddie, 
And Eddie's like, he's a, a pro as well, but he's like, hasn't been training at all. Like he's like way weaker than all of us, but the intensity is still the same. Mm. Yeah. So like, even though we change the weights between all three of us, it goes like Eddie, Kyle, me, we change yeah. it for each set, yeah. but it doesn't matter. It's like, it's, it's not the effort that the person's yes, putting out. We all do the yeah. same workout yeah. at the same and level. Re- it's like, it's not, respect, no one's burying anybody. You respect in. them for burying themselves. Yes. 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 That's, that's and right. we're all there to yeah. help each other bury oh. each other. Yeah. You yeah, know, that's right. yeah. I'm not yeah. there to just that's bury you and be like, pussy. I'm look, but I think I was I, like, no, I want though. you to bury me just That's as much as I wasn't even you. training leg. We were training Brett shoulders. Was, yeah. Brett was training legs, and you came over and be like, "Ben, I need you in a minute." Yeah, but I think I'm assuming that was what you wanted, right? Yeah, you wanted, yeah. You wanted well, me to that, that fucking voice. Well, it revived too. He was doing yeah. the same, same, I did the same thing. thing. Yeah. And I came over and fucking yeah. yelled at him. You know, yeah. I'm gonna get an extra four reps with one of you motherfuckers yelling. Yeah, for sure. It's the British. It's the British accent. I lost my fucking voice. He gets it deep, like it comes from like down here. He got it so much he was hitting the fucking pebble. I know. I saw the video. I was playing. I was like, "Shit, I think I hit his foot." My bad. Like, I was getting. I think it's because on the podcast we all rip on each other. Yeah. So people think that we're gonna actually like kill each other in real life and I'm like I think all of us kind of know where the, we're at yeah. but like, also the training is like the least fun thing I think we've done yeah. this week like yeah we all train all yeah, the time already whatever. Like, the training, yeah, yeah, I didn't really like okay cool yeah. whatever yeah. I want to spend time hang out and yeah. chat and training is almost all made yeah, yeah. You know? it's like we will train cool mm. but this is the stuff we're all yeah. here for you know the real question though is do you feel like Guy Cicerino's older brother yes <laughs> you feel like his older brother yes he's older than me I'm older than him. I don't have an older brother. And I've helped him so much. He dresses better now. His training's better That's now. That's true. It's everything. Think about it. What his is, training's better. He's going to buy a better car now. Yeah. He's got the what 212 vehicle of mine. I got First the, of all, don't use my joke against me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> son of he a calls bitch. Me, he calls me. He's like, how's the TRX? Uh, the TRX. I'm like, it's fucking awesome. You like he's it? Like, yeah. He's like, it's like, a, he's like a, uh, a Ram Rebel. I go, yeah, you got the fucking natural version. <laughs> he's like, no, I got the 212 version. We started busting up. Fucking laugh. <laughs> Would you have a Ram laugh. now? I've had, I've had a Ram Rebel since He's oh, had a 17. Rebel forever. Oh, yeah. I That's just why when you bought I'm like, you had to get the open version yeah, of my 212. Yeah. You fucking <laughs> son of a bitch. James. No idea what they're talking about, right? No, I'm just saying no, right. a truck, a truck, no, a truck. truck. No, no, I'm saying I have no idea either. The UK yeah. trucks are like like Dodge trucks and stuff are a big thing over in the they UK. They can't because right? the roads are too yeah. small. Yeah, yeah. but I'm, I remember e, uh, Luke. You, Luke had a Ranger. And that's yeah. big enough, and it was like a big yeah. vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's like huge. Those are like those little F one fifties, like back in the day. Smaller. Smaller. Yeah, 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 smaller. Yeah, that's what I drive around in now. Size, you know, that's what I drive around in now. One fifty. You really? Yeah, it's the nieces. I don't have a car. I drive hers. Less payments. Um, life after bodybuilding has been super difficult I competed once and found out I was doing more harm than good to my social life uh, to the point things had to end what are some ways to fill the void of taking a step back from the sport just de- de-intensify a little bit you know still train look at look at just, me just and don't be, keep the parts yeah. you like and get rid of the parts you don't yeah. like I mean yeah. you yeah, know, if I you mean, like the training you like the certain aspects keep sure. those but if you want to have more of a social life then like, like don't this. let it detract from that but, we just talked about it so- today oh yeah we just talked about it today yeah, yeah. we were just saying today on the way because somebody I forget wh- which one of us said it but somebody's like are you going to eat or did you bring meals or something and I'm oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like listen this is the first time I've met seen you guys and hung out with you guys in two years and this is probably the last time I'm going to be able to be able to go on vacation from Canada until like this mandate thing ends. So I'm like, I'm just going to have fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to eat when I want to. I'm going to eat what I want to. And I'm not fucking worried about it. Yeah. And so then we we're talking about careers. And I, and I said, I think back to my career and I'm, I think of things like I could have done differently. Like my wife would be like, let's go, let's go to the mall. And I'm like, well, I don't want to pack my food and take it. But I could have gone to the mall and eat my meal like an hour later or two hours later. And I wouldn't have been any smaller. Yeah. And it's just like, this is, and this is the things that's and when you say like, he's a lot like me, yeah. I feel like we had the exact same career path. I just realized some things because sooner. of my things yeah. a little sooner. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like I was like that. I think that too. Yeah. I was exactly like that. Like I would, if Melissa would say you want to do this, do this. And like the overwhelming anxiety of, of like how much preparation would need it. to be done. Yeah. yeah. But now it's just like, yeah. And if I miss if my meals two hours later, whatever, I mean, I don't yeah. fucking care. You know? yeah, this and, is, that, and that's saying that, anything. and that's yeah. saying that as an Olympia competitor, that's so saying guy, that at the prime of my career. No, no, I know this guy is just an average person. So I'm like, I guess what we're trying to teach people is like, look, you can have a life and miss a meal here and there and still, you don't have to quit bodybuilding. Yeah. Just don't annoy the fucking people you're around. I mean, if you want to meet someone who's the absolute best for this, is fucking Nathan. Nathan does not give oh, a But Nathan's fuck. a genetic freak. It's different. Yeah, but like Nathan does like, who would never stress over a meal like no, that. No. Never. Like but literally he saying, never. He was saying Hunter's like that too. Is he? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Like, on a Thursday before the Olympia, we were out walking around the shopping mall for like 
he did like 15,000 steps I was like Hans you got he's like yeah just keep trying I'm just yeah. I want to be busy I can do this normally it's just a normal day yeah. I was like okay yeah. normal day it's mm. your normal day do it yeah. Yeah. I mean somebody like that I'd be like look at me and Fuad who are retired we still do we were still bodybuilders without the stage so yeah. it's like do, do that I look better than I look now I look better now than I did six months ago mm -hmm. yeah. and I'm like more relaxed like mentally yeah I'm chill but like, you're enjoying it but I'm just yeah I'm just doing it yeah. the, I'm just eating better and I'm like yeah. what I'm trying to say is like you can still look good and not be like insane yeah, yeah for sure so. I mean and I honestly think even more so that relieving some of that stress I became a significantly better bodybuilder when I stopped over complicating yeah, things it's you funny that, you know yeah. like look I obviously got to do everything in the day I have to eat all my meals I have to do my workout I have to do yeah. this when the time calls for it yeah, yeah. but stressing over 30 minutes an hour or this or if I have my shake 10 seconds after my workout or 30 minutes like pfft, like well, that shit not, doesn't even I don't even think about it's that so funny it's, you say that because I had this conversation with Kai the other day yeah you said the minute I started to like understand that some it of the shackles as much as some of the shackles I applied to myself yeah can be released yeah the more I started to progress yep. and yeah and he was talking about like that like time constraints and little things like condiments yes yeah. like just think little things just, just said but chill this, yeah, but, this goes back, yeah. but this goes back to kind of what I said earlier is sometimes something will work for a bodybuilder and it might not be because of that thing but they'll attribute it to that yes. thing and they'll yeah. hold on to it like it's the gold moment, it's just, yeah. and meanwhile science people over here are like hey you don't have to do that and we're like no no it worked I swear it worked mm. but it could have been because of like four other things yeah of course so then we get stuck in this thing we're like okay well you gotta eat at this time because this and yeah but and, and here's something that, and this is Patrick says this all the time to me he's like the body will fi follow the mind a lot yeah so you can go oh science says but in your instance where you're going yeah but I believe this mm. go with that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. If, if you believe that works it works yeah do it uh, what's something you want to accomplish in 2022 Ian go ahead I want to feel grounded like I'm kind of like I don't know if I'm living in Canada right now or living in Florida I want to feel like steady you know home. I say stay yeah. Florida set yeah stay Florida. I want to feel set and like look I love my house in Canada but right now to me that doesn't feel like home but mm. Florida still doesn't feel like home so I mm. kind of feel like I'm living not at home but not, I don't have one either you know yeah yeah, yeah. so You're like not I, here I, or there in a minute yeah I want to find somewhere that's like my place you know yeah. and that I feel like will make Melissa and I the happiest and if you know we want to be having kids soon like that's a place where i'd want yeah, to raise kids sure. but also a place that i'm still in the prime of my bodybuilding career where i think it will be yeah, the sure. best place to be for me mm -hmm. and like right now i do feel florida is better than canada yeah. for bodybuilding but yeah. i don't necessarily think where i am is better for a life of you know yeah. with my family's having children so i need to find something that's mm -hmm. a combination yeah, you know yeah. so i think finding somewhere to feel a little more grounded i think is is where i am yeah guy uh i think i i want to be better making um big life decisions that like I, I have opportunities to right now to open a gym to start a, an, um, a company with uh, a, another bodybuilder I have an opportunity to move um, to two different states if I wanted to and I'm kind of like instead of making decisions I, I'm kind of like in limbo yeah so I think I need to be Pull a little more trigger. decisive and, and, and just kind of roll the dice instead well, of just hanging the back the next decision is going to be huge huh? it's going to be changing yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's why and, that's and, what it's, and it's been in front of me now. for a little bit and now that I'm retired mm -hmm. it's like more reality you, you so I'm like I need to fucking yeah. either shit or get off the pot and it's it's scary Yeah. so I think I need to be better at making uh, be, being more decisive with, with, with life decisions it's hard though because you get comfortable where you're yeah. at you, know? mm -hmm. you have a nice house you have yeah. a nice property it's hard to like yeah. just, you know you worked really hard to get it mm. it's hard to just kind of give that up mm. james uh, i think just like to continue what i've already started lately this this process of transitioning kind of like where ian is um get myself get myself here and just see that through and finalize those steps and feel like i say feel at home Grounded, yeah yeah and then once that's there then i know that the rest will come mm -hmm. um so it's really just focusing on the foreground at a minute rather than the long term because mm. these things are quite almost immediate because they're happening kind of now. Yeah. Um, and then I think off the back of that, the rest will kind of come to be clearer. Because obviously once you're once you're somewhere you want to be, it's a lot easier than to make decisions going forward. Once you're happy. Other yeah. things fall into yeah, place. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Brett? I, I, know, keep, I, know, I know yours. I want to keep growing exponentially in all of this. You know, <laughs> There'd be no room in the sofa. You no, know, with, you know, with this podcast, with my sponsors, with my wife, you know, this was a really good year for me kind of a coming out party. Now I need to take that next step in the bodybuilding. Is there scene. a specific though? Like, is there something like all of us have been pretty broad? 
Right. Mine is going to be. I mean, you guys are specific. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mine's going to be win an IFPB Pro Show this year and then that's qualify for the Olympics. That's a specific goal. That's a specific yeah, goal, yeah. and that's going to be, and that's going to with that yeah. happening, it's going to take all the extra steps I'm talking about. Yeah. So yeah. that's the main goal. Ben, um, very specifically, relocate to Colorado and open a super gym. That's big. That's big. Quick we'll, and easy. We can all come. That'll be the next trip. So I got to move to Texas, and Ben's going to leave. <laughs> Me and you guy. No, no coincidence. Me and guy. Brothers. <laughs> fuck you, Ben. Um, At least it wasn't fuck you guy this time. <laughs> Change pace. <laughs> you should make a shirt that says I that. I want to, I want to, I'm not going to say a number, but I have a number in mind for where I want hostile to be. So my main objective is to get hostile to that number. What do you mean? Oh, you mean like turnover? Gross sales. Is okay. that worth? Yeah, I gross sales. That. So I like, I have a goal in mind where I want the company to be. That's my main objective. And... Uh, mainly and probably the most important reason is I just want to be able to bring on more employees and pay the people we have more money. Pay Ben more money, correct? Pay Ben less money. Pay, Bre- pay Brett and Ivana more money. Yes. Pay Ben less. <laughs> I'm going to take money from Ben and give it to Brett. You can't, there's not much left to take. <laughs> you need no base salary. You only need commission. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, no, but seriously, that's that's the main objective. And then if there's a second one, it's uh, I, I want to make the podcast bigger. I want to figure out how to make it look more professional maybe you know get everybody microphones get everybody I, headsets i heard the idea I that you had and that would be fucking i'm not gonna say i don't know if you wanted to, i don't remember what idea you're talking about it's probably the uh, idea that i talked to you about aries with yeah oh the, that's so not that's that, an idea that, that i had a long that, time ago that aries contacted me about because hear it? That heard, would be well i already talked about podcasts cool. i want to this is something i want to start doing on tour mm. so we have one day so when we first discussed it so I thought about it, and when I first said it on the podcast, Patrick from Aries Nutrition reached out to me because he's a big bodybuilding supporter. Um, and he said, I want to do it here in New Jersey. And I said, okay, cool, because Guy's there, and Nick is already there. And I'm like, we're going to have to fly everybody in. So he's willing to contribute to flying everybody in with hotels and everything. And uh, But he wanted to do it in a store or in a gym, and I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, I want a theater. Mm-hmm. So I want to do – my ultimate goal is to have this set up on a stage in a live auditorium with people asking their own questions Mm -hmm. and we can go from city to city. So right now I have New Jersey and Vancouver lined up. Cool. So, but it's going to be hard though, because we have to kind of all dictate, it's going to be around people's competition Hmm. times and then, Maybe some people are going to make it to some, and other people aren't going to make it to others. I won't lie. We're, 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 we're a lot of cast members, bro. So Me and you will be at all we're of them. We're good. <laughs> Me and Guy are everyone. I won't lie. After the, yeah, I never after say no going, to anything. After going through this, I'll be pissed if I missed any of them because this is cool as shit. Yeah. 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 Right? So You guys are going to start missing your competitions. Just I mean, that's, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a shitty amateur. Fuck competition. Yeah. I don't leave it to these guys. Stop it. I don't know. So that's the ultimate goal is to make it like a traveling... Not because I think it's going to be more money. I mean, yeah, there will be mo- financial opportunity, but more so just because fun. it's, it's cool, cool, man. Like, this is fun. fun. Well, it's just a different way like, to connect Gasp with people, too. Like, like Gasp has brought us here, yeah. and it's incredible, and we're, we're all very thankful. Yeah. But but also, to, to further that letter, yeah. we're t- we get to impact them personally, like yes. you were saying. Well, like, yeah, like I said it's about being connection. in Vancouver, like meeting people and actually shaking their hands mm. and having us tell the stuff firsthand would be awesome, yeah. too. So, so that's the, the grand plan. But anyway, that's... And then the th- if the, can I can I do three? Can I do a third one for twenty? Sure, points? you're not selfish. You keep going. Let's hear it. You want more? Shocker! Keep going. Okay, okay. I want to move, but I don't think that's twenty twenty two. So we'll leave it because that's going to be a tw- probably twenty twenty three. How many cars are you going to buy next year? You already bought. Oh, uh, we are. I got one on the way, baby. He goes like this you in his hotel room at w- yeah. at two in the morning. He goes, oh, I, he's like, oh, I can't say it. you can say it because by the time this airs summer will be already oh, surprised. he goes he was he was i got summer um i got a surprise coming for summer and i'm like oh and he's like yeah i got her this and it was an out gorgeous audi oh gorgeous and i'm like oh, seven nice. yeah nice. it was nice and i go oh nice i go so i go are you trading in what she has because oh no no she has a ranger she's gonna drive that he's like this is Surprised that I'm getting this, but it's for me. I go, oh, so it's not for her. It's more like it's for her too. It's more like surprise. Yeah. I meant it more like yeah. surprise. I bought a car. Yeah. Surprise, yeah. I bought a car. Like, I a no, because, <laughs> no, because I drove. So I've been talking to this guy for like two weeks. He's got an RS7. Yeah, brand new one. It's got like five thousand kilometers on it. Yeah. And I got like five thousand kilometers on my Cadillac. Yeah. So I was, I was gonna do the deal, then I decided not to. Just a flat trade. Yeah, and then it was just an omen. I'm driving to the airport. And like honestly, ten kilometers from the airport, this RS7 pulls onto the 401, 
and I started driving kind of all around it to look at it. Yeah. And I think I annoyed the guy, so he fucking guns it and takes off. I'm like, that's it. I'm buying <laughs> he, that car. He told me that story. I'm like, it's the guy that was you are gonna buy from. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, car, I'm gonna yeah. get this guy. I'm gonna sell it to him. So yeah. I messaged so I messaged the guy when he gets to the airport and I'm like, I want to do the deal. He's like, Okay, cool. I'm like, Well, my Cadillac's already in Toronto. And he's in Toronto. Yeah. So I was like when I get home from Dallas, I just want to swap cars and drive home. Yeah. So we're working with the paperwork now. Cool. So it's, yeah. yeah. Great but car. how many cars am I going to buy? I think that's it. I got the TRX now. And if I get the RS7, then that's Ooh, good could, for one year. I could Shit. bullshit. I got to step how up much, my game. Are we going to bet on this? No, 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 no. You got to step up your game. You're rich I made now. a shitload of money this year. Yeah, you're surprised me. <laughs> Wait, I want to bet because you didn't buy a car yeah. that you still. Yeah, but we didn't bet anything. You, how come the fans disagree? I think with you, you did bet time? something. No, we didn't. The fans always right. disagree with no, you. There you was like a where you're going to stay bets. though before you yeah. buy a car, right? Well, this is the funny thing. I tried when we decided we were going to stay in Florida for a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, so I have two. I have a truck in my car in Canada. Yeah. So my truck was a lease, but it's up in May, and one of Melissa's good friends was looking to buy one of those as well. So I was like, <laughs> you can just take my truck. Yeah. Just pay me. You know, I won't do a, like a official lease takeover. Yeah, yeah. I was like, just take it. This is how much I pay per month. Pay me that. My insurance is this much. Just give it cash. You can keep your insurance, whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah. So they just took it and just paid me, paid out. So I got rid of that. So then I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm down to one vehicle. I'm in Florida. Let's like go buy something I like, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I went to Audi and I was going to get one of the new, the like look at the RSQ8s and like the Q8 SUVs Yeah, you and like stuff. those, yeah. Yeah. But without a social, buying a car in the U.S. is fucking impossible. So, I like, the only way I could do it is if I bought it, like, pure cash. I'm like, I don't know if I want to dump all my prize money. Just like, <laughs> no, don't do that. 130000 cash. Don't do that. I was like, that. there's no chance I'm doing that. No. Um, so, I didn't do that. But use, I, their, use their money. Don't yes. use your money. So, I need to do that in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Unless I have Visa stats here, which I don't yet. So. Yeah. I got a guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think so. I found like a, cause I ended up buying that little Volkswagen I have. So I yeah. bought a GTI golf. Oh, cause I could just buy something. How do you even fit in that? What, what mark? Huh? What mark? Like mark two, mark three, mark four, mark five. It's a 2016. Five. Good. I don't know. I don't know. It's nice. We need to look at this oh, shit. Oh, oh, this isn't his computer, though. I'd be excited. It means he's what? got no dodgy <laughs> search. I, I was just hoping I could see his actually live oh, It's a Google nice little searches. GTI golf. Like, got the mark, the mark five I love. I can't remember what year that was. I didn't know we had this. It's red. Time. It's literally the fourth picture. It's identical. It's literally that. They're weapons, those things. It's literally the exact same. They're like little rockets. I can't believe Ian's driving that. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the same as like the Audi A4 little engine, like no, no, the two no. liter turbo. It's fast, man. He's so like size wise. He though. takes up the width of both the front seats. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's actually not that bad. I can't believe he's driving that. You, Mr. Incredible. Why don't you tell everybody what you're bragging about driving <laughs> here and saying, oh my God, this thing's like oh, a go kart. So I'm having so much fun. It's so fun. Man, this thing's this thing's quick. What is it again? What is my driving again? A Kia what? Fuad drives like we're in a fucking hurry i'll tell you that much dude he said he wanted to race he cut off fucking five cars to make a right hand turn your ass guy it's a white one. Oh, now you're on board with the kias eh? i see how it no, is no that's all they had i paid 900 dollars <laughs> for this see. it's the only car they had left yeah. i spanked the shit out of guy we're racing guy owes me a meal i have i had fucking ivana brett and a dog in the car oh that's so, I yeah. felt so sick being the passenger in his car yeah, the go. guy Holy from the shit. gym opened but the door Ian, and look turned... at this picture he's holding up look, yeah. at the, look at them in that car oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I just I just oh, found shit. something that I could like, go I didn't buy. know MJ was here the whole time I, thought, I, was like, I kept looking around I'm like where the hell is he I just went and bought something I could like buy flat out cash so what are you going to buy then if you what if you can have your choice <laughs> RSQ8 calm down I don't know like I think we're done with this you lost it it's okay I'm sweating like I've dumped money into my stinger now, so I don't want to just get rid of it. I told you not to do that. I know you told me, and I you regret it now. Waste but I'm the money, deep. yeah. I've done everything to it now, so it's like I can't get rid of it. So I down just the got, drain. No, I just got to keep going. <laughs> Put more money into <laughs> yeah, it. Just keep, keep, keep going. going. See, well, that's kind of the, where I am. I'm like, I've done so much to my house. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, now that's I'm gonna, different now because you get that back. Yeah, He's exactly. not going to get it back. Like, I just read it. I just spent when you when you modify my car, kitchen, you lose like, yeah, 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 it. Yeah, yeah. you know? Well, I mean, you don't. I, right now, I'll I get it back because the market. But you don't always get it back in a house. I think guys well, talk about all those trophies what? and all that. What? I think you're talking about the setup of your house. What do you mean? With like the trophies, the the cabinets, everything you put into it. 
No, not the trophies. I'm not, no, 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 the trophies. The, but like, like re, everything I've redone, like the floors, the this, the that, the fucking That's closets. That is, you don't get that back? No, no, no. Right now I will, but you don't always get that back. Mm. But my point was I've done all this to it and now it's like, okay, now I'm just going to get rid of it. Yeah. yeah it's bye like bye. I haven't even enjoyed everything I have mm. that I've done to my house yet because a lot of it's new. Yeah. And now I'm like, all right, bye. Yeah, but if you can make enough money off it, you can probably just buy something that's already pretty much finished. Already done. Yes. Well, my goal is to buy, some, yeah. if I move to Texas, which is well, like I mean, my end goal. Especially like us coming from Canada, like where our market is, like selling yeah. coming down to Florida or Texas. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I looked at the houses here, man. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Like six, right. seven hundred thousand is like amazing. A fucking mansion. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like my house in, in Ottawa, I'd probably get eight, ten, eight, yeah. fifteen for. Yeah. You know, I don't have that much mortgage. How long on, have so. we been on? Anybody have time? It's, it's almost two hours. hours. You guys want to do one more and we'll wrap it up? One more. Yeah. If it's a good one. Okay. Um, so it'll take ten minutes to find one. What's been the best part of the podcast for each one of you? That's actually a good question. What's the best part of the podcast for you? I already know Ben's answer. You're what? You. I'm the best part. Yeah. The oh, fr- look at that. That's a good answer. That's a sweetheart. No, I did. No, I'm leaving it at that. Say what you're going to say. Yeah, no, I don't know. It's um, say it's it, hard. Ben. No, because you sent me a message yesterday, and it's the same sentiment. It's hard to put into words. The yeah, and I appreciate. Like I, I, I give you shit that oh yeah you always call me like I appreciate the, the value you put into me as well yeah like the, yeah. The, it's reciprocated and yeah it's a uh, yeah it was I said I forget what the message was you sent me a DM and I said something back and I was like I don't even know how to put into words what I want to say it just feels good yeah, yeah. so yeah no, okay aside it. from that what's the best part of the podcast for you well what's that's not good enough yeah well, well, I want something hard. personal wow. for him. That was. That is. That's for that him. Is personal. Okay, fine. Brett, yeah. <laughs> um, the platform. So the platform to not only talk about bodybuilding that, you know, I'd be talking about thinking about myself, um, but the, the fun involved of talking with you guys on here, as well as, you know, this platform markets myself <laughs> in ways that, you know, I might not do, my, yeah. you know, on my Dog. own. Yeah. So people can get an insight on me, who I really am, especially, you know, where I'm at in my career. I need to be more open you know what i mean like so yeah. that's one step i've learned from you guys watching it as well as interacting now is you know i need to be more open to expressing myself showing myself because that's what people latch on to you just got to learn to cut people off more because you're not going to get a word <laughs> in on this podcast <laughs> that's right so get more comfortable and do yeah. that as well yeah. james uh, i think just like sharing the experience from the, the beginning to the growth to where it will go mm-hmm. with people that you actually like you know it's just great to have that kind of uh camaraderie friendships um, respect and access also to each other so there'll be times probably in the future where we would all message each other at some point perhaps not necessarily in need but requiring some of each other's you know whether it be experience or just opinion or yeah just something we all, knowing well, that we, we, all, we, we had, built a community yeah, yeah. like you know like a, and i think that's great i think just like knowing I, that we have each other's backs i love that you said that yeah. because so many people try and build a community yeah. Is that like the thing now? What? Like businesses businesses know that building a community is the way to grow your business. Yeah. But you can't try and do it. But you can't no, you it's to, it's I see so many businesses it has to be organic. fake it. They yeah. fake it. They they buy the right things, they do the right graphics, they make the right yeah. ads, they say all the right words. No, this was so but, organic that but it was. This was so organic. Perfectly. So it's yeah. like we did well, it by well, accident. And it's happening while it's happening. Yeah. Like this 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 we got retired bodybuilders, active bodybuilders, coaches, like it's all happening. Yeah, as yeah, this is happening yeah. so it's not it's not just a bunch of people sitting in a room with nothing to do talking yeah. it's not like I, I'm like well Ian's popular and yeah, exactly. James is popular exactly. and exactly. let's just put them in a room and it'll no, work exactly. out exactly. Yeah. it's like not how it happens we all so. have something we're doing yeah, uh, and then we can all get together and put that into a you know something together and create something even more yeah. guy so. uh, well to go off what you said and, and this is not my answer but you said building a community. You know who did, has done a great job of that since day one? I've been there almost 10 years as Gasp and Better Bodies has a huge ambassador community and, and group of thousands of people um, on social media, on Facebook that are part of a family. Yeah. And uh, that's something that I've been a part of. And that's kind of what this podcast has grown into. And for me, listen, I can sit here. I know you bust my balls about genetics and, 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 and well, you can't win shows without shitty genetics. My biggest thing, and I've said this a lot, is that I was never a bodybuilder because I wanted to be popular. I always just enjoyed working out. Mm. No matter the trophies I've won, the sponsorships I've had, nothing means more to me 
than getting the messages of you saved my life. You guys inspire me to do better. And I think those messages, the lives that we save, I don't think those people realize that they kind of in a way almost save our lives. Absolutely. Because I don't think those people really realize the stress, the anxiety, the not sleeping, the this, the that, the mm-hmm. all, you know, the SSRIs, the the da- like you, the people only see on social media the very positive things because the best of you. Those are allow. Mm-hmm. Those are what we allow people to see. We don't mm-hmm. allow people to see our downfalls or us to be um, vulnerable in certain ways. And I think this podcast allowed us to be see that who, bit. We, who we are, and we're making big changes not in bodybuilding and i hate that people always say bodybuilding but because we're impacting the fucking world with what we do and changing lives and i don't care what fucking shows i won what arnold's you guys have won what you know accolades nothing in my life is a bigger accolade than knowing that i've inspired or saved somebody's life absolutely and that to me is the most important thing that i've taken away from not the sport not anything else but just having what is in front of me and and seeing those people and i've gotten messages from you know from from gas ambassadors from podcasts and and just that alone to me justifies what i do in my life every single day and when i get down on myself i remember those are the things and those are the people that why i can continue to keep going sometimes because i have that Mm. to look at and remind myself so Thanks to all the fans and and my my sponsors that I call family and, and all you guys who continue to message and follow and, and keep everybody question? growing. <laughs> what? Did he, did he actually answer the question? I think. Yeah. So. I, I don't know what the answer was. It was a lot the of fa- facts. No, the fact that a we inspire and save lives. Was a Kai Green answer. It was a Kai Green answer. You guys didn't understand it? Oh, yeah. James did. I can't even be nice on this fucking podcast. You know what? Nothing. This podcast sucks. It's fucking back in the day. I, know, I like nothing about this podcast, actually. The, philosophical the question stand-up was, you. Guy, what is the best thing of the pod, best part of the podcast Knowing that you? we inspire and save fucking lives. Do I have was to Was that not quicker to say? Yeah, but really? that, I wanted See? to say fucking so long on it and explain. Probably going to listen to you Brits guys fucking tried, mumble guys, rap half the time and not understand what you're saying. Guys, <laughs> and how you guys come at me for speaking. Guys, I didn't even come guys auditioning for a Machiavelli motivation video. Yeah. 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 Every time he he's speaks. That, right, that yeah. was going to be the background of all of Every time he speaks, he's like, if I speak for one. Guys, do me a favor. Unsubscribe. Unfollow. Every time guy makes a video, he's like, if I speak for one minute, Machiavelli motivation will flip it and use it as a background speech. You know what he's saying? You're such a piece of shit. He I literally gave the nicest fucking you answer. Nice answer. I'm sorry. And I can't go down. <laughs> go, go ahead. No, I, this, this is, is like I, going after Big Ram. Yeah, I don't want to ahead. say shit now. I'm the last one. Everyone gave good answers. It, it, it was like cash. Yeah, yeah. the cash. Yeah. Yeah. The cash. Yeah. <laughs> How much cash it's made me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, look, obviously, everything that everybody says, I mean, it's Try like, to follow I, I guess I'm last. So I'm like summarizing here. You know, it's I'm like not, I'm gonna go last. <laughs> Didn't you go first? No. You well, I'm going last. I'm going to go last. Uh, <laughs> you're already answering already. You can't just pull the e-brake. No, no I'm, I'm answering. Started. Then you're done. And then it's done. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, it's everything. Like, obviously, you know, the connections that we've all built. I mean, these are all things I've valued, you know, like, you know, this podcast is something that I think for my own mental health has been huge, you know, yeah. and I think, you know, understanding myself by seeing those traits in others you know and like seeing and hearing these things that people go through the same things and you know understanding connecting with people in that way mm-hmm. um you know and it's it's just something that you know i wouldn't have found anywhere else right and i also think you know from you know a more selfish point of view like you know helping myself build a personality and a character and coming out of my shell in that way has done a lot for my yeah, you know bodybuilding career outside of this you know for doing you know like how even when I started doing my YouTube, the first thing people you know says like, "Yo, it's crazy!" Like your first videos, you're so comfortable, and it's like, "Well, I've actually been doing this like two hours a week for two yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. This is like new to me. I've been talking to the camera yeah. for fucking years, yeah. here, you know. Yeah. This is like my first rodeo, you know. Yeah. But in my own capacity, it is, yeah. you know. But it's you know something like that, and having an established Ian, you know, like mm-hmm. that I I can convey and that I feel comfortable showing, and that mm-hmm. I don't feel like you know people have seen the side of me say stupid shit and talk about fucking you know having sex with p- girls on their period that i just met and, you know like, whatever this kind of shit that was know? 30 minutes ago <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's not <going> before. <laughs> it's not the first time you know that kind of stuff and like it's allowed me to open up into that you know so and obviously you know it's also a, a very 
judgment free zone. Like I feel like I can come on here and say anything to you guys and like I never feel judged, you know? Yep. Like never. And I even from our fans, like even the people that listen to that, like, you know, other than saying that Kevin LeBron sucks, like I don't feel like I've ever been judged, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like it's like people accept you for who you are and so. it's like you know, and, and people love you for it in a lot of cases just for being you, you know. You survived the Lavroni comment. You'll survive You get yes. away with a lot more than everybody else. I, I do. don't know why. But because it's like when you're always upping the ante a little bit, like you get away with, a, you know, yeah, a little more. Oh, that guy says crazy shit. Don't yeah, worry about he's it. He's the one that's like literally on yeah, the belt but, that says shit stirring charcuterie guy. Like, well, I am the shit. I can get away with the it. The Lavroni one wasn't know? a little bit. That one, that one, like yeah. a new level. Yeah, I jumped, a little, I jumped too many levels at once. Yeah. Though, because now when he says anything oh, else, I'm like, yeah, now it's nothing. The bar is so high. That's what I mean. I can say it now. It's like, it's not shocking. That, that's now like I will make Nick strength and power now if I say it on no, here. No, no, if no. If I say cares. it then, I do. I don't understand you know? how you get away with murder. I say like one thing off topic and I get it's, blasted. It's, it's yeah, the, but that's because like what Brett said earlier. Like we can shit on you and you can like be the good like good sport. And I can be the back. shit taker. Yeah, guy, I get slammed. Slam. I think it means slam. amongst people. Yeah, he's because he's known as savage. So people are going to be like, yeah, I don't want to shit on him because he doesn't give a fuck if I shit on him anyway. Or I'll just shoot. I, him I don't harder. give a fuck. Yes, you you sensitive. On social media, I'm you're, not sensitive yes, at all. Yes, you are. Well, you're, people you're, know you're sensitive, whether it's on social media or not. Talk about the fucking pot I'm calling saying, the kettle pot. I'm, I'm not sensitive. But that's why I see proving the point right here. You're, you're <laughs> right now. Now. No, I'm not that's sensitive. I don't, I don't, dude, I posted a fucking <laughs> video in, in here. I made that hack squat. The most When this gym sells, that hack squat's in worth the most money in this fucking gym. <laughs> I told you that yesterday. Was that here? Yeah, that's oh. right here. I posted that video. I got five over 5,000 people wanting to kill me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you posted that video because you thought it was going to go over well. No, I knew it was going to go over well. I was proving a point. No, it no, didn't. no, 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 because he sent it to me before he posted it as well. <laughs> he knew it was going to get bad reaction. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> people, are, people know this place more than ever. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I don't want to come here because grumpy ass fucking guy here. I people tagging me in the hack squat. <laughs> The uh, famous the people who were up on destination. Is guy there this weekend? No, cool. I'll come. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be He's there. got training legs this weekend. Okay, good. All right, uh, I'm gonna finish. Cap I'll finish it off. off. Um, mine's a little bit more selfish and probably generic. So I apologize. It's not selfish for me. I just mean it's selfish to the podcast. So the reason I started the entire thing from the very very first day was I wanted to give bodybuilders a voice because I always knew, and I'm not gonna name any names. But there was some shithead people that had YouTube video, YouTube channels and whatever else making secondhand knowledge videos about bodybuilders. Oh, I heard this bodybuilder does this. I know a friend and he said this bodybuilder does this, you know, blah, blah, these kind of stories. Mm. And no actual bodybuilders were telling their own stories. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start a fucking podcast. I'm going to have the actual guys on. And if anybody remembers the first probably 30 episodes of RBP. I would I always ask the guys like near the end, what are you taking? How much test do you take? Blah, blah. Because I wanted the real stories to get out, right? I stopped doing that because I figure it's not important anymore. But like the whole point was to get the guys on themselves, let them speak for themselves, tell their stories and, and, and let people understand that bodybuilders aren't fucking meatheads. And we then that's why I think this is so popular because people hear Ian talk about anxiety or me talk about anxiety or James talk about his mom passing or Ben dealing with Luke or all, any of these things. And people are like, holy fuck, those are real people. Mm -hmm. So that was the whole point from day one was to make everybody kind of uplift all the guys and make them all real and humanize them. And then it turned just turned into more fun because we started doing group group podcasts and turned into like mm. so then it went from. I want to turn bodybuilding into a positive thing into I want to keep bodybuilding as a positive thing, but I want to have fun with my friends. Mm -hmm. So now I get to do both. So I got a selfish aspect of I get to hang out with all you guys, but I think it's still not selfish because at the same time, we're all like showing people that bodybuilding is not as bodybuilders aren't as messed up as you think. Mm -hmm. We're all normal people. We just like to lift. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh, that's what I got from the podcast. And, and the reward I'm getting from getting from it is like, when I have a bodybuilder on that people don't know, in the comment section, I see people go, oh, this guy's one of my favorites now, or I didn't realize how cool this guy was, or like, like Samson, I just had Samson on like mm. last week. And the comment section, like half the comment section was like, Samson's like one of my newest favorite bodybuilders now. And I'm like, that was the point of the whole show. Mm -hmm. Like that was the point of the podcast. So or even like when of, Roman came on. Yeah, or Roman. Roman. People Perfect love example. Roman. Love Roman. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So it's like uh, I just that's what I love about the podcast. So I'm I'm happy that I could fucking bring it to people. And I'm happy that, you know, guy said to me, guy met we we're on the phone and he called me, he said, you know, 
thanks for having me on the podcast. Thank you for making me part of this thing. And I'm like, it's a team effort. Mm-hmm. Like people watch all of us. So, You're welcome. you know, I'm still going to do, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to do the one on one. So I think they're important and I think it's good to hear like serious shit, oh, but, but I think the fun friendship stuff also is good for us. Good for the sport too. So mm-hmm. anyway, but that's that. So and with that, and with that, thank you for watching, everybody. Thanks, MJ. Thanks, Gash. Thanks, Destination Dallas. Yes, thank everybody. Thank everybody. Thank for you for letting us you. actually have the platform today. Yeah, to this be awesome. in front of, of each other because that that this yeah. this is a, me- a memory I'll never forget for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do get in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of the experience. Yeah, yeah about us getting together and yeah, you guys like would like say, to see this in an arena. You've heard what Ford has to offer in uh, you know, his explanation. Your local auditorium. Yeah, yeah, if you guys, so. yeah, if you guys want to, if, if that's a good idea. If you guys in the comment section want to give us a shout out and say, sure. you know, if you want to see us in a theater or a hall, an auditorium somewhere. Yeah, let Get us know touch. if you think it's a good idea. Definitely. All right, boys. That's a wrap. Yes, sir. All right. We're out. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.